And welcome to everyone for this week's uh, session of uh, our Omega Dawn uh, Star Frontiers campaign. Uh, welcome to all the viewers again. Um, a quick recap. Uh, the Intrepid Crew, or Troubleshooting Team. You still haven't come up with a name for yourselves yet, guys, by the way. The Intrepid <laughs> Troubleshooting... Oh, yes, you have Budget Crew. The Budget Crew. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, are uh, currently uh, exploring um, the planet Star Mist in the Sundown system uh, for uh, some uh, a primitive planet, a primitive primitive culture uh, for an advanced um, alien or uh, uh, relics or artifacts. Um, they have been exploring the uh, the local and only um, permanent. Uh, village of the native Heliopes um, uh, and have been trying to work out what has been uh, going on in terms of um, where or what um, is happening culture wise uh, with with the Heliopes. Um, the Heliopes village has some sort of uh, uh, some sort of um, hollow pyramid in the middle of it and some interesting huts about a kilometre offshore connected by uh, piers to the shoreline where apparently the priests live uh, and various other adventures um, in terms of exploring the village. Um, when, we left the, the, when we left the budget crew last week uh, the plan was to swap um, a couple of Durasteel knives for some uh, rabbit-like herbivores that the Heliops use as a food source uh, and we're going to take those uh, dead herbivores out uh, and to see if they can make contact with some nomad Heliops which apparently are an other Heliope tribe or tribes who haven't settled down um, using the food as a peace offering. Um, that's pretty much it isn't it gentlemen I believe? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's a good summary, of my understanding. Yep. So, um, you guys obviously have just just uh, handed over uh, the, the the knife or knives. I can't remember if it was one or two to uh, one of the Heliope uh, women. It's very, she seems very happy with the knife, and um, she makes indications for you to grab one of the. One of the rabbit-like creatures, which name gets... I can't remember what they're called <laughs> at the moment. What are they called? Dopies. Dopey. One of the Dopies. That's D-O-P-E-E, -E, by the way. Dopey. Um, so, yes. Yeah, and I think we were going to go on foot. You were going to go on foot, I believe, was the plan. Uh, yeah, they didn't like our transport last time. Probably understandably. Mm -hmm. And then who was uh, who was shooting the laser cannon? You almost shot them. <laughs> I you aimed for a tree right next to them, and you almost <laughs> took their face off. Yeah, that was probably Jazz. Yeah, that was definitely uh, Jazz. It was definitely Jazz. It was a Jazz done. <laughs> Uh, the jazz misses and blows up a quarter of a million credits worth of iron ore. What? That's why I use grenades. <laughs> uh, long, long story, for, long story from their last last adventure. You could have made a ton of money with that much ore. Yes, we could have. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things that could have happened. Unfortunately, none of them did. <laughs> or fortunately, none of them did, depending on your point of view. All right. So, are you guys heading out into the into the surrounding forest and jungle? Yes. Yep. Uh, where's my rift map? Uh, rift Valley map. Here we go. <coughs> Sorry. All right. So, um, you track out. Are you taking any of the local Heliops with you, or just going out by yourselves? Uh, anybody volunteer to go with us as a guide? Can ask Leekar. Uh, Leekar. Sorry? Let's ask Leekar. 
Lee Carr. Well, Lee, Lee Carr says he'll go, yeah, um, if you like. Um, he suggests the best route is to head along the lake shore um, up river, which is to the nominal east. Um, and then when you get to the big bend in the river, then head, head out towards the plain areas across the forest. Uh, he says that's probably the best way to do it. That's what he recommends, anyway. Sounds good mm -hmm. to me. You, you mean this going this way? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That general, that general direct. Yeah. Because I think that's west, not east. Sorry. <laughs> I know maybe in the southern hemisphere. That's well, yeah, that's he's east. down under, so it's kind of reversed. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the Australian jokes, guys. Thank you, thank you. Where's my backup, Ben? <laughs> well, you can't argue with it if it's if it's correct, right? Yeah, it is. Speaking of speaking of Australian jokes, have you guys seen that video I posted? The link to on the forums. If not, go looking for it. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. All right. So you head out that way. Um, the forest is, oh, what can I say about the forest? Um, the trees are thick, thickly massed together, um, low hanging branches surrounding, surrounding you, okay? Uh, travel is relatively slow, um, and of course, vision is relatively limit, l relatively limited. Um, are you w walking in silence? Are you advertising your presence? Are you uh, saying anything to each other? Well, not to each other, but, but out, yeah, you know, to the sp anyone who may be listening, or or what's the well, story? Does Leekar say that we are asking Leekar, can we call out to them so that they know we're friendly and that we have, we're bringing them a gift? Uh, it certainly wouldn't be a bad idea, um, is the general g general g gist of Leekar's comments um, in his primitive way of saying it. Um, good idea, pale face. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's terrible. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. So every every minute or two, call out uh, a greeting, saying that okay. uh, we bring them a gift. All right. Well, and I don't get, know if they. Um, sorry, go on. I was just gonna say I don't know if they call themselves the forest people or the wild ones or whatever, but something not derogatory. We come bearing dopies. <laughs> <laughs> Do dopey, dopey, but anyway. <laughs> Jazz yells out, I come bringing dopes with me. <laughs> I think there's seven of them. Exactly. Uh, there are seven of you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you, uh, y you move through the, uh, along the, the lake shore and the, and the river and into the forest. About uh, two two hours twenty minutes or so, roughly, after leaving the village, um, a uh, a heliope um, steps out from behind a tree uh, with a, a spear uh, cocked, pointing towards you. Uh, but basically, says, um, "Stop." So we stop, or at least I do. Mm hmm Can I get um? Can I get uh, uh search or spot checks? Half intuition, half logic. Can I get checks off everybody, please? So Cat and Jazz, mm. um, there y you realise that there's maybe a half a dozen um, 
heliopes or so um, generally surrounding you guys in the in the forest all of them are armed all of them are pointing pointing at you yeah, yeah, spears cock things like this but they're hidden mm. they're, 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 well, yeah they're hidden they're hidden in the forest in that regard yeah I would be pointing things out I'm sure jazz is probably more paranoid than I am about such things well um Uh, who's speaking? Uh, anyway, well, you've all got polyvoxes, so you can all speak if you want it. Well, who's our best? Uh, yeah, normally yeah. Babu. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He's our politician. Wannabe. Best is subjective. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we come in peace. Shoot to kill. <laughs> that was very convincing. Thank you, Babu. Shoot, shoot to kill. Did I hear shoot to kill? Yes. You want to stop? You want to stop quoting um, Star Trekking, I believe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, as as Babu says, we come in peace. Jazz will hold up a, a dopey and kind of signal like it's a gift. All right. Uh, do you? No, you don't have any psychological skills, do you, Jazz? Nope. That's Babu right. does. Yeah. Babu, Babu does. does. Yeah, Babu does. I think this is like psycho uh, communication. Yeah, pretty much. That that, that is, c is communication part of it. Yeah. Not good Excellent. enough, though. No, but it's 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 a rob. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ninety six or higher. <laughs> yes, it's not ninety six <laughs> or higher. It's not, a, it's not a critical failure. Put it that way. Um, not yet. Um, what do you want? Says the, says the uh, the the heliope who's in the he's standing not in the open he's standing in the open. Oh. Yes, jazz. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we want? We want to talk. We want to we want to make peace. We want to. Apologize and uh, for our earlier transgression. We did not mean to. We were not intending to invade your hunting grounds. Mm, why we trust you? You with, you with, and he says some word which doesn't translate uh, very well um, uh, across the potty box at all. Uh, but you note that Lee Car sort of kind of bristles a little bit, you know. So it probably wasn't. You right? Uh, yeah, it, it was just it was just building up a little bit before. Okay. As other people were talking and you were not, it was kind uh, of building up. Okay. That yeah, fair enough. That old chestnut. Yeah. Okay. Let's, I'll see if I can fix things. Um. Yeah. Uh, whatever the w whatever the word was, it probably was derogatory. Uh, the way that Lee Car bristled. Uh, we'll say that, uh, yeah, we've we've we have uh, relations with them, but doesn't mean that you and I, that we are enemies. Want a dopey? <laughs> from from some dopes. <laughs> that that's basically it. We were we were acting like dopes. We're sorry. Here's a dopey, and uh, it's an apology. Okay, he doesn't. Re I mean, it's obvious he doesn't quite trust you yet, but he, he does start to move. Yeah, he, 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 the the offer of the dopey, the gift, sort of does uh, mollify him somewhat. You assume it's a he. Well, it is a he. You can tell. Um, he seen he he he, he uncocks his spear as such, uh, lowers his spear somewhat. It's still. Um, Still handy, mind you, um, and cautiously moves moves towards you. Mm. 
Whoever has the dopey <laughs> should slowly go up so you know we're separated. Well, who's carrying the dopey? I believe that's you, Jazz. He said. All right, Jazz will will walk up. Uh, Babu, you wanna come with me? Yes, I'll I'll step up as well. Okay. So, uh, you, Jazz uh, will offer it up. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the uh, the hairy ape uh, uh, takes the dopey and um, gives it a quick once over and uh, bears his teeth. Um, you think he's smiling. <laughs> 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 well, how do you tell with an alien, uh, an alien creature? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but uh, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> what, what did we want to talk about? Well, I think we whatever we, we want to talk about, we don't want to talk about it in front of Lika. Right? Yeah, we yeah. kind of, kind of, wanting to break in and break out our friend, uh, which yeah, Lika probably doesn't want to know about. Oh, or maybe okay, he does, right. but we don't want right. him to know about. So, so right now. Babu and Jazz are a little bit distanced away from the group, right? So is is Lee Hey, only by, only by a couple of meters. Okay. But again, Lee Car does Lee Car does not speak Pangal, and there's no reason why you can't switch your polyboxes off. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, but then we want to talk to the this guy. Um, well, actually, first thing, Jazz. Ah. Is, yeah, my name. My name's Jazz. What's your name? He looks at you rather suspiciously and, and goes, Me Roka. And you know, Jazz will say, we're, we're here to, to make peace, become friends, um, and we're also perhaps looking for a bit of help. Mm, what help? You, what help you need? And then uh, Jazz will see him, Pangal. Wait, we're looking to break our friends out, right? <laughs> Indeed okay. we are. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I, and, GM, and to learn GM about the river guys. Yeah, I thought you were after oh, information. Okay. Yeah, we oh, need information. information about pretty much the entire Helio village, um, about any other alien artifacts they've seen or any weird things from the village. Basically, things that we wouldn't get answers from in the village. Yeah, like, why, why don't you get along with the village? Why, why are you at odds with each other? Do you worship God? That's a good question right there. <laughs> good question. Slightly dangerous question. As a general statement with primitives. That, yeah, that is true, but uh, you see, I'm not the diplomat here, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Speaking of that, maybe I should try the psycho empathy skill to see what I'm sensing on these people that we've been. By all means. By all means. There's your fail. <laughs> There's my fail. Uh, apparently, apparently you've they, they, apparently they uh, <laughs> they they believe they're megalomaniacs. I don't know. No, you've got no idea what they're talking about, mate. You got no idea. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Not nice. Off to a great start with this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome, to welcome to the budget. Welcome to the budget crew. So, what do you want to say? So yeah, he's, he's he's waiting for an answer. Roka's waiting for an answer. Um, we'll say that we're, we're here. Well, we would like more information. We are a couple. Uh, one of our friends kind of disappeared. Well, not disappeared, but it's been taken. Are you definitely saying well, you say? 
Well, they're well, they're saying that. Um, why don't I, Ceres and uh, Bim Bam will talk to Lakar and see if see about uh, moving away from the group. Uh, are you doing a pilot on Onimaya? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. So, I, uh, you you managed to to distract Lika, or Lika, I should say, uh, and um, and maneuver him away from the the general conversation with uh, that's going on between the uh, between Jazz and Babu and Roka. Yeah. So to say, our friend has been volunteered, and we don't understand why. What can Why you tell ask us? Me? Well, we're hoping you would know a bit more. I think we want to know, like, why aren't you getting along with the village? What's the trouble between your group and the village group? Yeah, why do they live in a village and don't enjoy the freedom that you have? They seduced. They seduced by gift. What gift won't is that? Share, won't share gift with, it, with with us. What gift is that? Gift from gods. What? Oh, well, ask him what it looks like. Are you talking about the pyramid? The big building in the middle? Yeah. Gift from gods. Bring much pleasure. Village Heliop. No share with us. Bad blood. How, do, how does it bring pleasure? Remember, right, out of it's character, like we saw a a festival or an event, and then there were Heliops in, up on top of the pyramid, enjoying a kind of joyous state. Yeah, it was some kind of yeah. like uh, wave or something. Because you know they're like, well, they're if you remember correctly, some kind of electric thing or sonic. Oh. If you remember correctly, thing. no. Well, if you remember correctly, uh, during the ceremony which you uh, observed, um, various heliopes would present uh, offerings to the priests. Uh, the priests would accept some and reject others. The ones that were accepted, uh, those those individuals were allowed to ascend to the top of the pyramid where they um, shoved their hand in an opening at the top uh, and where there was also a, a brief flash of light uh, and uh, the heliopes uh, would th the heliopes at the top of the pyramid would then uh, sway back and forth and you interpreted that as a as that they w were were happy or pleasurable or, 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 or whatever that's how you interpreted things at the time Okay. How long has this been here? Mm, forever. So the village Celia found it and then kept the rest away? Yes. Through threat of violence? Can you not just take what you feel is yours? Too big, won't move. <laughs> <coughs> Perhaps we might be able to help you with that. Too big, won't move. Ask them what, what is a grasp? Hey, sorry? What is a grasp? Uh, uh, what the fishermen, they were using grasp juice or something like that to repel whatever the grasp, grass, whatever it is, the sea monster. Oh, what are you talking about? Sorry, yeah, with you. Uh, uh, grasp juice. 
Where are we? Something taken from their innards and turned into a kind of mild poison, I suspect. Um, uh, um, the uh, right, uh, Rokar basically describes um, describes some sort of aquatic creature, uh, large aquatic creature that would eat uh, just about everything. Um, kill a whale, maybe, or or very large fish, or or it's, yeah, the, 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 there is no direct comparison, of course, but that's the best you can get. Ten times the size of one of them, one of the helio. Oh yeah, very big. Okay, so in other words, we don't want to. We want a boat if we go out into the water. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that that uh, that part's obvious um, from uh, from the descriptions. Yes. And maybe a spare boat or two, because yeah. So yeah, um, yep. Yeah, so what are you doing, guys? Standing there in the standing there in the forest, surrounded by heliopes, um, over a dead dopey. <laughs> do you want to live Maybe. in the village, or do you just want to be closer to the gods? We won't participate with gift. No, so you don't want to live in the village, but you just want to be able to join in on the ceremonies. Yes. Priests, priests make difficult. Always reject offerings. Hmm. Oh, Did they tell you why? They rejected your offerings? Said God's not pleased. This lie, our, our offering, same as everyone else offering. I don't know why I'm speaking like a, a pseudo a Native American from the films, but sorry, guys. <laughs> it works. It works. Mm. So if we were to say get you access to the big immovable building would you be able to help us kind of attain some freedom for a missing friend of ours or would you consider it pins what you need and a shrewd glint enters his eye I do love how we uh, were pretty against killing people, but are quite happy to incite a civil war. <laughs> yeah, um, no, I, I'm, I'm noting that as well. Uh, hey, we're I'm not killing them. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not there with you guys. <laughs> I took what's his face away, otherwise I'd be commenting. I know, I know. <laughs> Actually, what can you tell us about... Actually, let me ask you guys first. When back in the village, out on the river, it was all the priests' residents, right? All the religious um, yeah. sect of the, of the village, right? As far as you're aware, yes. Okay. So then we'll ask Roka, like, what can you tell us about the... I guess the priests, like, you know, how did they become priests? Are they separate? Like, do the people like them? Do other village people like them? Do you know? Must like them. Stay with them. Can Is anyone join the village? Or must you be invited? Who won't live village? Indeed. It's why I asked the question. Why do they want to live in the village? Mm. They're, yeah, they're not not right in head. Seduced by too much time with gift. Corrupt, true Heliop spirit. Roam 
forest, Rome plains, this Heliope way, stuck in, stuck in one place, not good, crazy. Yet you want to be closer to the gods, do you not? We want to, we want to experience gift, yes, but not give up our ways. Anyone who doesn't give up the old ways does not have access to the gods, yes? That's true. The cause of priests. Are priests born in the village or did they just join the village? Always, always, always villages. No real Helio become priest. What do you know about the priests? Are they shifty? Are they? Do they lie? Are they? What do you know about greedy? Them? Greedy? Well, the word the words translated as greedy anyway. Do you believe that they truly serve your God with their greed and their their malice? It's a difficult. That's a difficult one for him. They, they, they serve gods, but not the not in true way. Not in proper way. Have you ever attacked the village before? Yes. Did many die? Many hurt. Some killed. Both sides. Well, Did the gods it, help either side? No. What would happen if the priests were to like be removed like the village the people in the village <laughs> you know would they support would they survive are the priests kind of considered corrupt and you know are you asking him or are you asking me uh, I'm asking him uh, I don't think he's got an opinion one way or the other I don't think he knows one way or the other do priests leave the village ever not often Have you ever killed a priest? Yes. Did you take anything from the priest? Nope. Have you seen these these gifts from the god that are smaller than the than the one down by the river? Uh, like, by the way. Hang on a sec, I just gotta go dark for a second, guys. Mm-hmm. Kill him, kill him all! And then didn't didn't <laughs> our patron there, Max, he, he, he came here originally because there's some sort of alloy, right? Well, that's why he came back. That's why he brought us back. So perhaps we might benefit by asking if they know of any source of this alloy. Max originally, uh, Max's ship originally uh, uh, misjumped into the system, um, and in a, in an effort, in just a general repairs, exploring things like that, yes, Max uh, found a piece of metal which was apparently um, he later discovered when he got back to the frontier proper um, that had been uh, only possible to be created by nuclear fusion, not even fission, fusion. Um, and obviously, it's obvious that the um, the Heliapes and uh, don't have that technology. So let's so let's ask Ro let's ask Rokar. Do, do you know of any source of this metal? Gift from gods. I'll be right. So you keep them when you find them. Uh, yes. Uh, 
perhaps they keep all the ones they find in the village. Wouldn't you be interested in that as well? Well, okay. Yes, it's obvious that they the um, the village the uh, village and in fact the village priests keep just about all the uh, inverted commas artifacts out on the uh, river river platforms, uh, lake platforms. So, uh, so yes. What if we were able to find a source of this metal? What good does? It's a gift from the gods, is it not? It's like the gift from the gods, yes. Now, do you know how many priests are out there on the river? By any chance? I know you don't live in a village. We could ask Lee Carr that question. You could. It said there uh, were five, five or six, and there's like five one six, head yeah. priest. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. That would be what you would expect. That would be what you uh, seem to indicate, yeah. All right. So, so Jazz is going to turn to his teammates and talk and pang out real quick um, and say, "Well, look, guys, um, five or six religious figures." Uh, there's, there's a village. Um, there's you know these these hunter gatherer wanderers out here. You know, maybe it's time for a small little regime change. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 as bloodless as possible, you know, because like these these priests they don't you know they they sound kind of well. I mean they took our man right, which I is think really great. But maybe we, these I guys can just distract the villagers because we don't want them to actually kill each other. You know, and then we'll, we'll, I'm sure we can take out five or six of them. How about, uh, we, uh, we save starting a civil war as, uh, towards the back of the options list? Yeah, because yeah, we, we need to keep in mind that Max did go in there voluntarily. I'm sh we should, we, I think we have to be pretty sure that he had a plan. Wait, he uh, went in voluntarily? I thought he Yeah, he there. stepped onto the docks. And once you step onto the dots, then you serve the god. Yeah, but he was—he's been here for so long that you would think he knew what he was what, doing. Whoa, 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 back up a bit. What do you mean he's been here hmm. for so long? He's been here as I long as you guys have, plus a little bit of exploring last time. I maybe uh, no I more than a, a week. Oh, I was under the impression. Well, they knew him and everything. Yeah, yeah from before, he, from when he visited last time. Just for yeah. a week, okay. Well, not the yeah. Well, the the only people who know Max at this stage, as far as you're aware, are the village mm. heliopes. And Max spent about a week in the village. Yeah. The last time, the last time a monkey talked to you for a week, and then went away for a few months and came back. Did you recognize him? Given that there was only one monkey in your entire life that has ever talked to you intelligently. But wouldn't all monkeys taking... look the same? And why we, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Wait, you, yeah, but they only that's know of the existence of one monkey, and that is Matt. Oh, Max. Oh, He had a crew, but yeah. He had, had a he name, was... and he came back and recognized himself, right? Yeah. You realize, you realize Max is of Rusk, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's right. He is of Rusk with the all-human crew besides him. Yeah. No, was they're all Rusk. it was an all-Rusk crew. Max's first crew was all was was a Rusk trader. Oh. All Rusk. The current pilot and the current engineer are both human of your current ship, but they're back at the ship. Yeah. Okay, but when he when Max disappeared, wasn't it that uh, we woke up, decided to have breakfast, and like, hey, wait a minute, where's Max? And then we asked yep. about it, and and people were saying like, oh that yeah, was, he's, that uh, was that uh, was. The night that was, that was after the night. ceremony, when it was yeah, late. Yeah, after the ceremony, it was last night. It was this morning, actually. And it's now sometime in the early afternoon after all the hiking and talking and working out you're doing. So Max has been, dis as far as you're aware, Max has been gone some somewhere between six and eighteen hours. 
depending on right you know so yeah. do we know if it was actually voluntary because i don't recall that but i thought he was just basically kidnapped but all people are saying he's yeah. serving the gods yeah he's serving the gods all we makes, heard that is he went heard. to serve the gods so what we were told is that he stepped onto the uh platform the b yeah the, the piers whatever yeah the dock that leads to the priest's residence on the yep. water i see and we don't yeah. he went and served the gods so he went to their temple <laughs> and that's all we well, know well 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 no no he didn't go to their temple the temple's on shore the temple's their, in the pyramid, their residence you know? Yeah, which is one kilometer, residence. which is one kilometer, all right, six hundred odd point six of a mile, over half a mile offshore. The villagers all assume anybody who goes on there does so willingly. So yes, they assume he went willingly, but we don't know that he didn't go willingly. We just don't yeah, know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. But okay, so that clears up something in my head. Yeah. Chad what, was going to assume that he did not <laughs> go willingly. Well, but they said that he was alone. Yeah, he he was probably just uh, unwittingly. You know, he probably just kind of like, hey, you know, let's take a closer look, and then you know, he stepped on it and didn't realize he would get taken. Would well, let's put this way. Go ahead. Just, sorry, I just Max. Uh, don't forget, Max is particular. Max has got one main goal, and that's to discover these artifacts and grab them and take them and flog them and all the money. artifacts are with the priests in their private residence uh well that is yes except for the one leak has got um and yeah but yeah the priests collect all the gifts all the all the god items or what do you want to call them artifacts whatever the and take them out to the take them out to the lake complex uh, except for the pyramid or whatever's inside the pyramid and one or two odd items that that favored individuals pre uh, fav uh, chiefs like Lee Carr, for example would uh, would have all right so so from jazz's point of view um and he'll he'll sort of group this like okay I, I see two options one is um you know we you try to get these non-villagers to hold back the villagers they'll you know, distract them pen them in or whatever and then you know we make our way out to, to the river complex but maybe before that we would want to investigate the pyramid a little bit more i don't know if it's heavily guarded if we can find a way no, in okay it's, it's not heavily guarded um it's heavily constructed um there are gaps there are gaps you look through which you did and that's why you know there's something inside the pyramid. That's why you know this, the pyramid's hollow. Um, but to get inside the pyramid, you're going to have to... I won't say break something, but <laughs> at this day... Jazz has got some TD-19 in the Explorer. Yeah, no, 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 no. yeah, we were going to remove one of the planks. <laughs> and then... You were. You're gonna, and then call in or something like that. But yeah, do that in the middle of the day. Babu were going to go in. Yeah, you know, whoever it was. No, at the, night. Yeah, at night. You do it. Ah, you gonna do it at night. Well, if you're gonna do it at night, I mean, for that matter, you might as well raid the river complex at night. Well, we want to get. We want to see the thing at night. Pure... The <laughs> breaking into the pyramid is l lower risk, and l l probably less offensive than going out to the river. Uh, Possibly, assuming we yes. can cover our tracks lower after risk breaking in. Yeah, and I, I I would think the two Dralocytes would go in because they can change shape, right? They can squeeze through somewhat, you know. Fast. Narrow. We just have to remove yes. one of, yeah. We just have to pull off one of the boards and, you know, let them go in that way. Not to mention yes. that one of them can understand a fusion reactor, if that's indeed what is below there. Uh, <laughs> like. <laughs> yup. Exactly. <laughs> One of them's got a force axe, too. Yeah, yeah. Both of them, No, do. both of them got a force axe. That's what worries me. <laughs> if we can't understand, we will break. <laughs> ah, the murder hobo creed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would just, with, with the, the guys in the forest, I think you should just try and say, hey, we wanted to bring you a gift, say hello, talk to you. We'd like to come back and talk to you again sometime. 
maybe go on a hunt with you. You could show us how to hunt, and we could show you how we hunt. Just start a relationship, and then we can come back. Yep. Yep. So Sounds prudent. <laughs> So yeah, so you know we'll we'll, we'll be in touch. Um, we'll show you how how we hunt in the future, um, and then Jazz points over like in the distance at Cerise. He particularly mm -hmm. likes to hunt with one of these, and then you know Jazz pulls out a grenade and says, and "We'll show you this another time." <laughs> this is beginning to sound more like the it's a she rather than the B team. She, she likes to hunt with <laughs> one of these. Yeah, Cerise is a female. I keep forgetting that. That's right. How can you tell? Is Babu a he or a she or an it? Yes. Uh, an it. Okay, good. We're both its. Yeah, no budding on ship. <laughs> <laughs> Dear idea. Are we going to wait till we're all stuck in a cell together? <laughs> okay, that's just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so um, if that's the case, I'm assuming you're taking your leave of uh, Roka. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Enjoy the dopey. And yeah. Uh, and uh, you seem to leave on good terms, or relatively good terms. I mean, the suspicion is still there, but they're certainly not throwing rocks at you or spears at you. Good impression. Good impression. That's progress. Yes. Next time we can come out it's into the win. woods and not get attacked, mm, not get surprised. Probably. Yeah. Right. So uh, you're heading back to the village, is that right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, it's, it's about two and a half hour trek, so you, you, it'll be close to dusk when you get back. Okay. Perf. You, 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 you're still, um, you, you're still in the in the forest, and still about a kilometer or two three actually away still about an hour or so away from the village when um, you can hear uh, the uh, what sounds like um, um, an explosion and possibly some other um, you're pretty sure it can't be you're pretty sure it's not possible but you think you hear very faintly one or two laser blasts as well. I think we start yeah. running. Yeah, do we hear it in the direction of the village? Yes. Yeah, double time. Yeah. I would yeah. double time. I wouldn't run, but double time. And I'll swap out my doze grenade for a frag grenade in my grenade launcher. While you're running. No. <laughs> we're, we're, we're power walking. No. <laughs> well, yeah. That, that's going to run. All right. Well, in that case, can I get a dex can I get a dexterity check off you, please? Oh, I'm. Close. I stop and swap I'm the not weapon. <laughs> Thirty seconds isn't going to make a difference. <laughs> right? I'm just. You said you were running. I mean, you. you, you oh, I, d I said no. In the forest, through the forest. Yeah. No, no. I'm <laughs> saying we're we. We should double time, guys. We don't want to get there exhausted. We have a long three kilometers to go. We still got. Of, it's a long distance run, yeah. M movement. Yeah. There's no way you're going to sprint. We, we double time. So we're, All right. we're power walking. Uh, okay, okay. You There is a bit of smoke coming from the village area. Uh, more than... It's, it doesn't look like fire smoke. I want fire smoke, sorry. It doesn't look like fireplace cooking smoke. It, you know... Um... It looks like death and destruction smoke. Does it? Does yes. the smoke seem to be growing as if there was a fire spreading? Um, well, it does for a while, um, a few minutes. Um, yeah. So you 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 make it back to the village. Uh, it takes about just a fraction over as, half an hour. As, as Sorry, we get on. close, um, we'll we'll kind of should we try to go stealthy? Right. Well, as I was yeah. saying, it, it takes about half an hour or so. The you only hear one explosion, and you only hear it what, and you're not even sh you're not even sure you did hear laser blast. You just it's just yeah, it could have been something else, but you only hear it one, you only hear it start right you know, all during the time during your running, uh, and when you get close to village, um, you, you can hear a few uh, a few wails, um, probably of anguish, 
um, and um, you can hear the crackling of a rather large fire. Um, but there's no more explosions, there's no more um, uh, sounds of fighting or anything else like that. Okay. All right, so where can we see where the fire's coming from? Well, when you make it back to the village, um, you, you're coming in from the west side, and I mean the west side this time. <laughs> um, yeah, look, one of the one of the small family huts. Um, I think it's a family hut. No, one of the small bachelor huts. Sorry. Um, over on the. Uh, East side of the village is in flames. He's almost, in Are fact, those the number burning. fours. Yeah, uh, this one to be accurate. If you can see that, oh, it's not a good place for the arrow. Hang on, I'll move it around. That one, actually. A red uh, circle that designated it's on fire. That's all. well, it's actually pretty much burnt out, actually, by now. Um, so, um, but it, that was where most of the smoke was coming from. Um, and there's a few, th there's some heliopes standing around uh, armed, uh, mm -hmm. including one of the priests. Um, and there's uh, one or two heliopes kneeling. Uh, and there's one or two heliopes that probably are dead on the ground. In that general area? In that general area. Anything else happening anywhere else in the village? The whole village is on a, a state of tense. You know, everything's tense. Yeah, but I mean, are they hiding in their huts, looking out? Or are they? Some of the kids, some of the younger, some of the more, some of the children, and some of the females are. Most of the males are out and armed, and and actually, if Lee Car wasn't with you, you'd feel a lot more threatened. A so ask Lee Car what happened. I don't know. Off of you. Presumably. Well, presumably, I know, but I assume he's going to ask. Yeah, we'll we'll follow him as he tries to find out what what. As he's on. the as he's a sub chief, yeah, we'll follow him. Yeah. Straight. Yeah. Okay. Turns out I won't go through the detail in conversation. I'll just give you the the, the, the the fact. Turns out that two or three, very um, reports vary, um, strange creatures. Uh, which glinted in the sunlight uh, came from along the lake shore from the east and attacked the village. Glinted in the sunlight? How? That's all you get, mate. You mean they were sh what? How did glint the fire like start? Glint like metal? Glint like water? Hang on, we're one at, we're, we're, we're one at a time. Uh, well, um, it some some say glint like water. Some say glint like uh, um, glint like your you, you glint like your 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 cart. Oh, they were armored. Doc well, and Jazz, nice. why don't you see about first aid? Oh yeah, sure. Anyone Do we have see? anybody with tracking skills that can? Get over on that side and see if they can notice any type of tracks of some sort over there. All right, so you got several courses of action there. Let, let's take them one by one. Do you want to do the medical stuff first? User joined your channel. Yes, that sounds like a yeah, good sure. idea. Yeah. Am I on time this time? You are an no, hour mate. late. <laughs> You're an hour late. I am? Yes. You are. It's all right. Don't feel right. bad, man. <laughs> I barely made it in. Grab your character, Dane. I've just cleared the ownership. Uh, I hate to be morbid, uh, but if I look to my side, do I see uh, Voke uh, <laughs> rubbing his appendages together, about to sell these uh, Heliopes, his new stone house technology? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying... <laughs> I can yes, make I it way better. <laughs> uh, Imagine this, it would not burn down. Yeah. Dougie. You got your character, Dougie? Um, yeah. I'm just logging in right now. There's an update. Yeah, no. 
It's cool. Like, I can imagine folks saying like, well, this is a tragedy, friends. I've got a Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys give me some first aid rolls, please, for two, you two doctors? They I did. use the term loosely. Yeah, they did. Oh, there they are. Sorry, I didn't see them. Okay, uh, no, look, um, there are two dead Helios. Um, uh, one looks to have died from... Um, burns and um, blunt shock trauma. Uh, that's an initial investigation. The other one appears to have been shot. Can we it tell? A shot from what? Does it look a laser shot? Uh, a laser shot, yeah. Ooh, hence the burning. Blunt force trauma. Mm. That'd be explosive type. Yep. Probably. Well, ask them the 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 attackers, the creatures that attacked you. How big were they? Were they the size of like us, or were they the size of our our vehicle over there? Like no, no, us. Explore? Us, same size as us. Did they yeah. look like any of us, or did they look like different? Look different. So, in other words, they probably have they're probably armored, as in they have or a robot. Or robots, yeah. They're Which either way, did way they we leave? gotta hunt. Sorry? Which way they leave? Back to back yeah. to where they came. To the east. They came from the Does east. Does anybody have environment tracking? I think nope. that's the one thing we don't have. Yeah, did. No we yeah, don't. Did, yeah. <laughs> no, we don't. That's the one skill we do not have. Mm. I'll, sorry, I'll Doug. proceed. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, Go ahead. sorry, Doug. I need to fill you in real quick. Um, the guys went out into the forest with a dopey, caught, um, met, met up with a, um, a native, um, uh, um, a nomad helio. Um, there was some talk of fermenting a civil war, ay, 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 and a regime <laughs> cha and a regime change. Just, just a just a small one. Regime just change. Small one. Not civil a regime war. change. Uh, anyway, uh, found out found out. Uh, Generally, you have settled on the plan that that they need to get. They need to do a couple of things. One is check out what's uh, check out what's inside the pyramid at night, and two, get out onto the river platforms at night. Um, on their way back, to, and then they left the the the, the, the native heliope, uh, sorry, the nomad heliope, um, uh, on relatively friendly friendly terms. On the way back to the village. They're about an hour away on foot from the village when they heard an explosion and what they thought was possibly a couple of laser shots. Which uh, we... And then they, yeah. then they saw smoke rising, uh, non-cooking fire smoke, as someone, someone um, else put it, uh, death and destruction smoke, um, rising from the village. So they, they hoofed it back and a half an hour, after about a little over half an hour of, of not sprinting but running back, um, discovered... Uh, that one of the bachelor huts had been burnt out, two of the heliopes had been killed, um, a couple of heliopes kneeling over the bodies crying, and most of the males armed and giving you lot dirty looks. And if the fact that you, if you hadn't have taken Lee Carr with you out to the bush, um, the fact that you're accompanied by Lee Carr, um, you'd be f a bit worried about things. And they just discovered that the blunt plate trauma. And yeah. So that's where you basically came in. Thank you. Um, so that's this was the uh, nomads who did it? No, nope. this was no. people with laser weapons. Uh oh. We thought That's we heard good. laser blasts, and then we investigated. One of the uh, heliobes died from burns and from blunt force trauma. The other one was killed by laser blasts. And the and they, they yeah, they weren't one of the four species, and they weren't a heliobe. Yeah, they said that the attackers glinted in the sun. Oh, okay. Some some mm. say so that some say like water, glinted like water, and some say glinted like the the, the cart that you guys came in. Glinted like mm. metal. Okay. So that eliminates the possibility that the laser pistol was one of the one of the artifacts left behind by the ancients or whatever. Okay. Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't rule it out. This could still have a laser pistol. It's just now we know that there's someone else right. on this. Yeah. There's someone else with the technology, with advanced technology yeah, like ours on this planet. There's another species. Yeah. 
so the gods may be the people who actually just attack the village. Uh, what what time is it now? It's it's pretty much towards the evening. It's pretty much on dusk, yeah. It's pretty much on dusk by the time you get back. Well, a little bit before because you rain now, but you know it's it's coming in. Normally, this time of the day, um, the women the women would be starting to starting to prepare evening meal. Starting to, um, the men would be finishing up their work, um, and, and and things like that. It's that time of the of the day. Um, can can I get one of them to show me where they came from the forest and where they retreated back into the forest? I want to look for tracks. Yeah, basically along the, basically along the river, uh, basically on the lake shore, is more or less what they say. I mean, if that be a search check, if we're looking, it at would be. A th sorry, go on. Yeah, it would be yes. But what were you saying, Babu? No, I was just saying if if it's a probable robot type attack, we should be able to find some type of prints of some sort to verify that. Well. Unless they have some type of hover capability. Or if it's yeah. just on sand that just is loose sand. Well, no, no, there's the species as we should be able to find the tracks. And that's why I was searching for them. Okay, um... What's your background, Cerise? My background is a technician. Yeah. Security. And you're, you're, yeah, 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 yeah. Now she's checking your sheets. Okay, look. But she knows a lot about robots, especially security bots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've shown and like Jazz knows how to robots. blow them up. Yeah. Uh, look, based on based on on your search role, and based on your general background knowledge, um, there are indistinct markings in the soft earth. Uh, around the lake shore, uh, you can't follow the, the, the whatever these markings are for for very far, because they quickly move off into a more solid ground and, and get solid up by, um, by by things. But you think, and it's only a think, right? Um, that these markings were made by some sort of small, relatively small, um, caterpillar track type thing so like a treaded tracks mm -hmm. just so i know yep. do, are there such things as androids and humanoid robots in this world yes anthropomorphic anthropomorphic robot chassis do do exist as do robots of basically all shapes well not just an anthropomorphic chassis but like a, a cyborg or an android someone a robot yes. specifically designed to be look like a person uh okay. well that's the anthropomorphic yeah um, cyborgs, cyborgs exist in terms of organic brains inside metal bodies. Um, in that regard, um, if but, you're talking but something not that robots, could, if you're talking a Terminator, <laughs> um, no, or, um, or a Blade Runner type of no, yeah, that's what I was talking about. No. A, a humanoid no. robot that could pass for a person. Okay, no, no. Right. The closest, you, the closest you've got would be a Terminator without the human skin. I see. All right. Okay. Um, um, Jazz and will since, since, ask and since Jazz we're talking, you know, sorry, sorry, and since we're talking about Terminators, um, if you I, I, if you really think about it, the T one from the fourth Terminator film, I think it is, or was it the third Terminator film? That's no, the third Terminator film. The T one, you remember the T ones? Anyone a Terminator? Yeah, oh fan? yeah. Sure. Right, the T ones. You know how the T ones had that tracked foot, the, the the had the caterpillar tracks and the right. two arm, yep. two guns. That is about the size of the track markings. If these are track markings, it's about that size. Yeah. Could, there uh, are tracked robots. Could vote and there are take a look? A uh, vote could take a look. For what purpose and what skill do you want to use? Um. Well, these are, if they were robot tracks, could I potentially tell? Well, I don't know if you can tell Well, to essentially confirm what Cerise is thinking. Uh, yeah, well, you know, you just do a search roll for me, and, you know, I can tell you whether you, whether you think that she thinks she's right or not. <laughs> nope. Now, as far as you're concerned, Cerise is completely off base, and they are actually some sort of biological 
biological uh, creature uh, who's got at least eight legs. Hence that the track like marks. But it's also possible that because the heliopes are kind of like they have bipedal. They they are bipedal with long with a long tail up over their shoulders. Oh, but they're slightly taller than yeah. slightly taller than a human. But they could be rusk, right? Because they're like caterpillar. Uh, they got several legs, rusk. right? Well, I mean, they yeah, have several. They have several legs. A rusk of eight legs. It's probably a bit bigger than a rusk. Possibly, and if it was yeah. six legs, or you two arms. Actually, it's eight legs, two arms, dude. <laughs> oh, I think you're fine. So, so Jazz, as he's kind of patching up the the heliopes, Jazz will ask, "What did what did the attackers do? Did they just come in, shoot you guys up, set this on fire, and then left, or did they pretty much seem like they were looking for something?" No, no, that's pretty much what happened. Huh. Has this ever happened? In, randomly attacked and then left. Did this did your warriors them? chase them off? Or did they leave on their own? Oh, the warriors uh, threw spears at them and things like that, but didn't seem to hurt them much. Does this happen often? No. Is this the first <laughs> time this has ever happened? <laughs> it's, the, it's the first time it ever <laughs> happened. <laughs> Given that the village was just attacked, I don't think we we can do anything tonight because they're going to be on guard. Um, oh no, I don't know. So well, I would suggest that maybe <laughs> either tonight <laughs> or come morning that. we go and we try to track these things down. Yeah, yeah you're going to suggest that. Well, okay. I'm, I'm kind of half joking. Uh, okay, guys, guys, guys. But as far as tracking these things down, you no one's got the tracking skill. Right. So apart from the apart from the couple of meters that that you know before these tracks disappear or, or fade out, without a tracking skill, you've got no hope. So <laughs> I, I'm kind of half joking, but you know I'm, I'm thinking like maybe Jazz will volunteer to help them stand watch tonight on the eastern side of the village and suggest that we pull every available warrior to stand guard with him. Facing east. <laughs> um, a question: Do we have contact with our ship? Radio contact? Yeah. Um, from the explorer. Only, by the, only from the explorer. Yeah, it's too far away for for handhelds. So I'll go into the explorer and I'll contact the ship and give them a status update, both with Max's apparent volunteering or loss of contact and some sort of fifth race, sixth race uh, with a apparent advanced technology and see if they've uh, noticed anything. On the scanners? Okay. If there is any? Uh, if they've been scanning, ships. yeah, did another ship land that they're aware yeah. of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, they, so now they're not aware of everything. They take the information on board. They said they'll, they'll keep an eye out for you and let you know. Um, uh, let, let you know what's going on, uh, but let me remind you: the only way you got a contact in the ship is via the radio in the Explorer. Yep. Okay. Well, I think what we need to do tonight is probably do guard rotations with the Explorer. Um, you know, have it turned off and probably where it is now, but facing east. And we can flip on the headlights if we have to, and somebody can man the heavy laser if somebody shows up. Um, yep, you can do that. And maybe that would the provide. The explorers on the I'm west sorry? side of the village, by the. The explorers on the west side of the village, by the way. We can, we can it, bring it over to the east. No, I'm just saying, yeah. you know, it's on. Yeah, you want to bring it out of the east? That's fine. And I think I think building eleven is our. Yes, building eleven is ours, so we could put it. Right outside our building, right? Yeah, that's where I'd yeah, put it. if you wanted to. With the headlights facing east, and okay. somebody manning the heavy laser, we can take shifts. Um, and then, if opportunity presents tonight for our break in at the temple, we'll do that too. Mm -hmm. Depends on what the guard looks like, and I would suggest like this location. 
or oh, I've the lost side you, mate. near us. That one there. Okay, that, you sure you want to do that that location there? Well, well I is don't there know anyone the like inside the, the inside twenty five? Well, 25 is basically uh, um, uh, um, a hollow building that go there with the steps leading out of the roof up to the. Yeah, top are the there ever guards in there during dawn? Well, there's no guard. There's, there's no guards anywhere really, except on a few spot people, a few of the uh, the young bachelors at night around the edge of the village. Yeah, they they, they don't they don't, the the they don't guard the pyramid. Right, and I imagine they don't go between the pyramid and the ocean they stay on the outskirts of the village yeah and they stay on the outskirts of the village that's why i'm thinking this location is the is the most sheltered plus it only has not you know only 90 degrees anywhere else is 180 degrees yeah no it's fair enough yeah good point i'm just yeah but if we think the village or the ocean people or the the river people could see us uh, I mean, they are a kilometer away right yeah. They oh, yeah. They could have magna goggles. It's possible. <laughs> they could. <laughs> I'm just saying it is possible with all that tech they have. Yeah, look, anything's possible, as they say. But yeah, we should use our goggles at night, infrared, starlight. I don't the know whole kit, the UV. whole kit and caboodle, eh? Right? Yeah. My goggles are just UV and something else. Let me look. IR and... Oh, mine have IR and UV. And magnification. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I think uh, we're going to sleep for tonight and looking at the guard and seeing if we can break. Um, yeah, yeah, if you like. Are there more guards out tonight? Oh, uh, a few more bachelors floating around, but, but not, but yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're quite happy to, um, uh, they're quite happy for you guys to be, to be there, shall we say? So, are there, compared to other nights, are there fewer guards on the western side of the village? Uh, yes, probably. It's hard to tell, mate. I mean, what about where windows from the, the huts look out? I mean, that's the other thing, is well, the we have most better huts coverage have we somewhere else? Most of the huts don't have windows. Okay, or what so, side the doors open on, that sort of thing. Well, it, that's random, um, you know, in that regard. And they might have several doors. Yeah, so I mean, we, I'm not sold on either of those locations for breaking into the temple, but those were where I would start, mm -hmm. and then we'd have to look at the huts around and traffic patterns and so on. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. Yep, yep, it makes sense. Can we tell if the, either this side or that oh, that side yeah, is no. any different in terms of like uh, guards walking yeah. about and uh, yeah, about, it's about, it, it's half does one six the other, mate. Okay, so it's about the same then. Mm -hmm. Might as well be closer to us. Yeah. Closer to the explorer, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think we're going to do our break-in. Who's going? Me and Babu. And we need someone to get a board off, so maybe Jazz. 
Naboo's strong, right? Yeah. I could probably yeah. Do it. Aboard? Yeah, we don't want, I think, just Jazz, Babu, and I. I don't know if Jazz needs to go. Does he? Uh, I think Jazz is strong. Well, actually, I am, I am also strong, too. I'm 55. I mean, a pry bar and... Actually, Babu, can, Babu and I might be able to do it ourselves. Like, Jazz can go and kind of stand watch if you want. Like, if the, someone comes up and a fight breaks in the, out. In the field, but, yeah. But otherwise, Jazz would just man the laser cannon on watch, or the laser, heavy laser on watch on the west, on the east side. But happy to do either way. I think Jazz would have a better chance of keeping them occupied to the east than instead of being over there with us. Yeah, but we've inspected the planes before, so can we find, do we know of a good spot on the eastern side, on the well, lower last eastern time side? You, last time you checked things out, you checked out the back there. Well, I okay. That one. Uh, Which is out in the open. Okay. Somewhere back there. Um, so, um, you made the assumption that it's the same all the way around, but you don't actually know. Well, I was just looking okay. for a plank that would be the easiest to take. And Babu, you might have to take on, you might have to go naked. I don't know how well your what? clothes adapt. What? Babu isn't here right now, I don't think. Oh, no. Babu's not. around. Yeah. And Babu don't go naked. Well, your clothing better not tear. And leave like a like a Scooby Doo mystery behind. Scooby Doo. -doo. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting in the vehicle as long as there's an active laser cannon. Yeah, good idea. Hold I'll the be in the driver's seat. Emergencies. Yeah, I'll be in the driver's seat ready to fire her up if we need it. Who's manning the cannon? Jazz. Jazz, yeah. Cool. Got training. Yeah, I might as well stay in the vehicle too. Yeah, so I think Babu and I go there and when there's no one around, we... How, how long would it take us to get one of the planks out and then squeeze in and then put the plank back? Well, I mean, yeah, a couple of minutes, I suppose. Okay, we're probably going to need someone to to keep watch then. Bim Bam will go. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm not running Bim Bam anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we just need one person to keep watch to tell us, you know, if we need to quickly run back and hide in the in the crofts with the person keeping watch. Or to put the plank back if that you guys can't do it from the inside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cat will walk over there. We've got Chronicom stuff, so I'll keep an eye out and then I will let you know and potentially put the board back if someone comes around. Yeah, well the board needs to be at least look like it's in play. Yeah. So grab one yeah, down down low. Yeah. I'd put it back as soon as you guys are inside, mm -hmm. and then Cat can go for a midnight stroll. Yep. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll time the guard patterns and then we'll do it. Sounds like a plan to me. Well, the guards. I mean, it's pretty random the guard pattern. Um, I mean, it's it's not like um, a, a fortress under siege or anything like that. Um, the 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 guards in inverted commas are some of the young young male uh, well, single males. They tend to wander around the outs uh, uh, the outside of the village, back and forth from lake shore around in a in a U shape back to the lake shore from the eastern side and west side, um, more or less. Um, so 
Um, I don't know how much that's going to help you with what you want, what you're trying to, to achieve. There's no a real time when there's a gap, and there's no real time when there's not a gap. I mean, it's it's you know, um, from where you're planning on going in, if you're still planning on going in, ah, uh, down here, yeah. down that area, then yeah, you you're pretty well fine most of the most of the time because again the the young males have got their attention outbound on the village not inbound you know what i mean yeah so who's yeah. wait who's keeping watch for us uh, i am cat okay so right. yeah whenever cat sees one of the guards or anyone that's not one of us coming uh he'll signal us however and then we'll quickly run back to the uh the bush well uh, there. Yep. 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 All right. So you make your way to the pyramid without too much hassle. Um, is it now? Is it the two of you or the three of you? Uh, we'll go separately, and then okay. eventually meet up. No. Right. But is it two of you or three of you? There's three total. Three of you total. Okay. So when you all three of you get to that point, um. Again, yeah, you could probably, um, it's going to take a bit of strength, but you can get your, your fingers or the equivalent of fingers in around the edge of the boards and give it a good heave-ho and pull one, of the, pull one of the large planks off if you want. The smallest one we need to creep in. Yeah, well, it's probably a bigger one, you know. It's going to be, going to be you know, several yards long and, you know, a foot or so, foot and a half wide, whatever it is, a foot wide or so, so, yeah. So you guys, is you three guys all pulling, all using your strength to do this? Only two, two Babu you? and Vokar. Cat is keeping watch. Right. right, in that case, can you convoke and Babu both give me a strength check, please? That is not good. Uh, no, Vokes, 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 Vokes so bad, he actually manages to hurt himself. Splinter. I am not rolling strains, very well. Strains his muscles for four points of damage. Wow. Which is why we're the B team. Yeah. <laughs> yup. <laughs> but Babu <laughs> does manage. Da Babu does manage just manage to pull his end of the, the the plank beam whatever off, and so um, carefully laying it on the ground. There's a gap for you guys to wiggle your way in if you still want to wiggle your way in. You know what? That actually works better. Just having one side off. Yep, let's go. Yep. Okay, so you squeeze and wiggle your way. Give me a uh, give me a dex roll, please, both of you, please. Much better. Voke, Voke almost teleports through the, <laughs> the hole. Um, so you both get through without too much trouble. Now, did you bring light sources with you? Helmet. Uh, yeah, I have an infralight, and I can use my IR scope. Right. What about you, Babs? I'm looking at what I had. Because starlight probably isn't going to help us here. Probably it not. It depends on how much light's coming through, and if there's anything in there. Well, once we but get yeah, inside the ship. You don't want to flip mm -hmm. on a uh, light a lantern and light up the thing. <laughs> no. Probably not, no. Okay, I didn't write anything down. So, don't worry about it. Well, uh, we have our four sats that may or may not give off a little bit of light. What the hell? Shit. Put down the spin suit. But I didn't get a, the helmet I wanted, so... But no, Sonic helmet. What the...? But I didn't put anything else on it, so... Yeah, sorry mate. Hang on, I'm having trouble here. Why is that...? No, no, that's alright, it's coming through now. See, Papu, you gotta be like me and go go nude. That way you can just slide on. That's just bad. 
<laughs> so you have, you have so you have a light source as such, gentlemen. I believe. Yes. Infrared or otherwise. Okay. Since Babu, I, I should, assume I you also have IR capability. All right. Can you two boys come out of the private room, please? User left your channel. Sure. User left your channel. Channel switched. Right. Okay. The pyramid is hollow, um, and inside it uh, is built over the top of a large uh, bullet or manta-shaped metallic object. Um, uh, it's a vehicle of some sort. Okay. Rocket ship. It's about. Thing. It's about, no, 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 no. It's about nine metres high, about 16 metres long, and about 10 metres wide at its widest point. About two-thirds of the way forward, a fin merges with a hemispherical turret resembling a recessed headlight. The turret faces forward. Two turret hemispheres, two and a half metres in diameter, are located on opposite sides of the fore part of the vehicle, uh, they appear on close examination to be detachable. A fourth hemisphere is inset into the front and forms the nose. This hemisphere is four metres in diameter and slightly more convex than the others. Uh, two equally spaced grids are at the base of the machine, front and rear. A small portion of the grid work is visible from the sides. Behind the grid, you can see what appear to be fan blades. There is a closed, or what appears to be a closed entry port on the lower rear of the vehicle. Now, it's about all you can see in the current infrared light because it's all about the same temperature. You're only getting, you're not getting much, much else from what I've given you there, okay? Um, also, it's very hard to work out exactly what it is, but it's definitely a vehicle. Well, at least it strikes you as a vehicle. So, it seems like it has a glass. So, the the nose is like a, a bubble that you can just presumably see out front. Something like that, yeah. And it has fan blades in the back. Yeah. So, yeah, this thing it's, is submersible. It's, it's, it's... Yeah, Well, like no. That. no, no, not submersible. No, it's a watercraft no. of some sort, or aircraft. Well, possibly some sort of watercraft. Um, it's it's it's. Like I said it's really hard to tell in the lack of light, uh, and, and and in the dark, yeah. in, in the you know the darkness you've got. That's why I asked what type of light sources you had. You guys had the infrared will give you the infrared's giving you what you what it's giving you, but it's got not giving you anything else. It's it's not you know. Um, but you two are the only two who know what's the, what what this is at the moment. All right, can we get, can we try to access the rear port and get in? Um, what possibly. Kind of, what kind of check would that be? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> I'm looking for it. So I still have my Serena John survival kit with the flashlight in it. Do you? Yeah, let me, do, let me double check. No, I don't have it on me. Yep, never mind. Uh, my inventory is not on me. Does a fort sax emit any light? No. Uh, you say, yeah, there is some what appears to be a rear, a rear hatch. Are you going to, what are you going to do? You're going to. Well, I want to double check that, you know, no one put alarms on the thing. So I'll do detect well, alarms. Okay, give me a detect alarms roll, please. You've got, you've got no idea whether it's alarmed or not. I'll tell you this, though. When you go to detect alarms, right, there is a flash of light, and you take 16 points of electrical damage. Ow. Okay, that hurt. Hang on a sec. I just need to stay in this room. I just need to... Wait a sec. I'll be back in a second. User left your channel. All right. You took electrical damage. Yeah. Is electrical? Is that what's making these people happy? Yeah, they're like and... immune to electrical stuff. 
Yeah, but they're putting their hands in and getting shocked for touching it. But they're enjoying it. Yeah, but that's that's their their species is like a uh, resistant to that kind of stuff, so that's why they like. User joined your channel. Um. User left your channel. Oh. User joined your channel. And he's. Hang on a sec. User joined your channel. Uh, so, uh, cat go cat over the over the chronochrome. Cat goes. Ah, are you guys okay? What the hell's going on in there? Right. So the thing kind of just. Uh, I tried to look at it, and I think I touched it, and then it zapped me. And it really uh. hurt. <laughs> I think it's uh, some kind of craft of some sort. Yeah, the thing has fan blades in the rear. It has four four of those bubbles. And uh, we found a we found an entry point on it, but uh, well, I got shot when I tried to touch it. Okay, that's no good. Hmm. Uh, well, if this thing's dangerous and it's hurting you, uh, I would probably suggest that you come out and we talk to the party and we, uh, come up with a plan. Uh, Cerise is pretty good at getting past the fences, so maybe, uh, that, that, that's, she could go down there and it might be a bit easier. Well, how are you gonna get a Rusk in here? Uh, I don't think the hole that you pried open wasn't that small, was it? No, it wasn't. Because uh, you guys, to change shape, have to do it over minutes. So if you were like yeah. sliding through a, a, a small s space, it would take a long time. Uh, so yeah, I think Ceres would be fine getting down there. Even, even if it just means we have to pry up another bar. It seems like we've got enough opportunity to do that. Sorry, but remember to put the bar back when you're done. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you just so want me to send? Do you just want me to send her down there? Are you guys safe? Even unless, as long as you don't touch anything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and get and have someone bring a flashlight. We need a flashlight. Yeah. Or lanterns. Uh, okay. We we need more light. Okay, so your infrared isn't working. Yeah, or it's not it working that well. Cuts? Okay. Okay, we'll do. You know, because the so thing's like whole electric and, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's not working out very well. Every, everything's normal temperature here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ben, come back over to the main room. Yeah. User left your channel. User left your channel. Oh, boy. Yep. I'm just concerned that Max did not go, or Max did go for a specific reason I but i don't know if he's gonna double cross head. us or not yeah i've got another theory about these like grasps for these sea monsters that maybe yeah. it's these things right because we saw those robots but what we assume well what cerise said were robots and i think he's insane um but if he is right and there are robots it's possible that this is an uh is a watercraft and maybe it's even submersible and um there could be people either living out on the water or either under it and they could be advanced technology like us it's possible and that may be the the reason why those creatures attack is they want their ship back but that doesn't make much sense just to send three people and then kill two people and run yeah I just feel like there's a puzzle here, and I'm missing two pieces, and you can see the whole thing. Well, we can't go, we can't track them down, so we don't know any more about them. So that eliminates that, so then our only option is really this, this vehicle. See, the question in my mind is, they want the metal. Yeah, we want artifacts. Max wants the metal. 
Yeah, we want these but these artifacts. What if somebody relics. else wants the metal too? Does Max know that? Well, who would and is know? trying to get it before him, or does what? Max suspect it and is trying to get it, or is he helping them? Well, the only people who know of this is us and the people who he was and the Max's old crew, and the engineer and the pilot. Yeah, Max so, knew. And the ship said that they didn't detect any other ships land or coming in. So as but far as we know, we're the only space the Star Devils or uh, Sathars. Are the Sathar? Do the Sathar have those legs? Those? Do they have several legs? I don't, I don't know. Let me look. They appear to have two legs, two Sounds arms, but a like a worm-like body. Yeah. User like... joined your channel. So I don't know what you guys User talking joined about. Your User Nothing. joined your channel. User joined your channel. Yeah, sure is. Um, Cerise and uh, Cerise and Doc scramble through a, a slightly larger hole um, in the pyramid. Uh, Cerise manages to wrench a leg while doing so. Um, um, so underneath the pyramid, let me just fill you in, is um, some sort of vehicle. Um, it's bullet shaped, it's about 9 metres high, 16 metres long, and about 10 metres wide at its widest point. About two thirds of the way forward, a fin merges with a, he with a hemispherical turret resembling a recessed headlight. The turret faces forward. Two turret hemispheres, two and a half metres in diameter, are located on opposite sides. Yeah, I should do. Um, uh, opposite sides of the fore part of the vehicle. They appear on close examination to be detachable. A fourth hemisphere is inserted into the front and forms the nose. This hemisphere is four metres in diameter and slightly more convex than the others. Two equally spaced grids at the base of the machine, front and rear. A small portion of the grid work is visible from the sides. Behind the grid, you can see fan blades. There is a closed entry port at the lower rear of the vehicle. With the flashlights that you guys, that you guys purchased, or brought with you, I should say, you can get a better viewing of the um, the object. Uh, and it, now it's of alien than, construction. It's of alien construction. Does it? it uh, maybe this is a stretch, but it sounds like a hover tank. Oh, now yeah, you show hover tank. <laughs> you share the image called hover tank. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. So yes, it appears to be a hover tank. Very nice. And I know it's not. And I know it's not a very good. It's, it's a very bad copy. I'm going to see if I can find a better copy of the of the map somewhere. It's a pretty bad copy that was PDF schemed. But basically, that's what it looked like. Oh, okay. Yeah, not how I imagined it. Very hard to tell with the infrared. Now, you the number sevens you said appeared to the two on the wings appeared to be detachable. They do appear to be detachable. Those two turret, okay. As in, not self-propelled, but that could be stood up as as weapon systems on tripods, yep. or okay. No, they look to be. They, well, at this stage, they look to be detachable. It's all you can, you yeah. know. Okay. How is this in relationship to where the uh, the friendlies here were putting their hands in the pyramid? 
Well, looking up towards the top of the, top of the pyramid, there's a gap up the top. Um, it's pretty obvious that by reaching through the gap at the top of the pyramid, they would have been touching the high point of um, the hover tank. And that's where there you were go. getting yeah. shocked. Yeah, that's what hurt. Because that makes so, them happy. So what what was it, Volk, that, that you were doing when you got injured? I was searching uh, for alarms and defenses on the ship near the re rear access panel. Uh, actually, front access panel. Oh, the front one. Yeah. And, so, uh, to, get yeah. The front panel, to get the front panel, she started to scramble up the... Yeah, scramble up these... That, that okay. whatever. And um, when touched the front, touched it, got zapped. So I will just, search. Just, with... just, 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 just give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. I just got to go back to the other group. User left your channel. Yeah, so I came in here to see if anyone was injured. So when he gets back, if anyone wants help, I'm happy to try. Yeah, I can use first aid with that 10 points of damage and probably Voke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you guys tank? know. I can, but yeah. it's alien, so I don't know how well. Uh, I think I can. Well, that's a hover vehicle, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I can operate those, right? I don't know. Um, it looks on. like we got four. It looks like we have four weapon turrets. Um, the plan, if we get detected while we're in here, guys, is the gods called us to protect this from the aliens that came today or from the invaders that came yeah, today works for me all right user joined your channel works for um over the over the chronicom cat's voice comes and says um are you guys okay do you need any more people to come down or is everything good or, or what's happening and uh, with that i think i'm going to try to administer some first aid on whom the injured the pair of injured <laughs> Oh, give me a first. Yeah, give me a couple of first aid me. rolls. Give me a couple of first aid rolls, then, please, mate. Uh, is anyone going to answer, Cat? Yes. Tell them uh, we should be okay in here. It appears we found an alien hover tank. Okay. User left your channel. Yeah. So I looked no. it up. Uh, you have to be a second level technician to operate military ground vehicles. So this is going to be a military ground vehicle. So that's on you. If we shut off the power to this protection, people aren't going to be happy with their gods. Well, that is so, true. Yeah, so what we've got, if, if the defensive screen is probably activated, deactivated by the wand thing that the priest has. User uh, joined your channel. Excellent. Uh, please be careful with your torches. We can occasionally see them from the outside, says Cat's voice. Okay, so we'll try to screen them as best we can. I, I want to search for an outside panel, a security panel, for turning off the protective screen. Sandy, you can give me a search for that one? Don't do it like I... <laughs> and just, you I'm know, just barely not... missed. I'm assuming you're not touching. No. Anything? No. Yes, okay. Uh, good. Now, you don't locate any outside security panel. The only panels you can see are the ones you can actually physically see um, and the hatch itself. Wouldn't you be looking for defenses and alarms there? Well, I know it has defenses and alarms. What I'm looking for is a panel to turn that off, a keypad, right? Or something. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it might be remotely operated. Could Vogue take a look? I think you have anything like that on the outside. Well, oh, your you, car does. Actually, you can't. So, so do modern uh, modern Abrams tanks. They have a they have a security a security access panel near the top hatch uh, to gain access to to it to, to, to things. Could uh, Voke also search for a pan or keypad? You could search for something if you wanted. Yeah, you're gonna touch the machine as well. I'm not touching it. I'm just looking <laughs> for a for a keypad or control panel. Yeah, okay, now you don't find anything either.
Um, is it currently on the ground? Is it resting? Yes, on the it's ground? currently it's currently it's currently flat on the ground. There's no there's no lights. There's no no lit lights. No lights. No engine noise. No vibration. Well, you don't think there's any vibrations. You can't you certainly can't feel any through the ground. Um, the only thing that seems to be active at this point, and only because um, Vogue says it is, is some sort of security security electrical charge field, if that's what it is. It could be something else. It could be the thing shorting out and just zapping the crap out of you. Yeah, um, it's that they've been here the, for years. Um, what about in the rest Actually, of the pyramid? Is there anything else in here? Search the rest nope, of the pyramid. No, just, just the tank. So on the, on the Chronicom, I'll call out to the guys... It looks like uh, the tank has a security system on it that is active. There's nothing else in here. Um, okay, come back over the game. Come back over the main room and say that because I'm not going to remember it all of it. User okay. left your channel. User left your channel. Yeah, so I think the next thing yeah. to do is just try to deactivate. Watch it. We need to know how. Did you get an idea about how old this thing could be? I mean, we're we talking like hundreds of years, thousands of years. I don't know. I will do. I think I can do a military engineering check to see that. That might yield some information. Yeah, that might. Considering it's of alien design and it's very foreign, I don't know if my modifier of 60 is going to be enough. Although it'd be so pretty fun to boot this thing up and then just drive it out of this temple and then just drive it yeah. all the way back to the ship. W where was Please it touched? Your channel. Channel. Um, the, uh, the, by the way, I need to pass this on. Um, it's sleek, this thing. It's definitely alien. You've never seen anything like this at all in terms of the, 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 th the, the, the stuff that you got, the frontier races do. And in the in the playing around of the, the torches, there, there's markings on the outside which could be some sort of alien writing. Could uh, Voke do a military engineering check to see if he can compare this to any other vehicles and see if there's similar functions and have... thus similar ways to deactivate like a defense field? Certainly could. Give me an engineering role. Military engineering role. Okay. Uh, now, by the way, I, I need, need because it's only it's because yeah, it's, it's going to be harder. It's, it's, it's minus it's minus twenty percent. It's that's a the, the across the board rule for just about everything. Okay. So um, look, it's a, it's obviously a military tank. It's obviously it's a tank. Uh, well, <laughs> as obviously as it could possibly be. Um, yes, it's probably protected by a force field uh, as opposed to a short circuit. Um, and uh, but but how to deactivate it? You have no idea. Uh, not on this, uh, on on a on User a on a your channel. on one of your tanks, uh, like on a on one of the tanks that the Frontier races use, um, there would be some sort of access access panel or something like that, or you could even um, uh, uh, um, short short out the security system um, with yeah by by cutting wires and things like that. That of course would mean um, uh, accessing those wires. If this tank works the same way, and that's a big if, it would mean touching the tank. Yeah. Does it, I don't think any of our guys have a Gauss screen, a defensive screen. And I, the other question for you, Matt, is mm -hmm. do I think there's any way to deactivate the security system without touching the tank? Well, um, vote, I'll let you vote for you in on that one, but he just did a roll for that. Yeah, I 
I tried to compare it to any of our frontier military tanks and either you have to cut wires on the outside of it to short circuit it or um, there's like an access panel or, a or some way to access it from the outside to turn it off. Does it look old? I mean, like, is it covered in dust? And... Um, yeah, it looks old. It's been here for a while. It's certainly not as pristine. Obviously, the pyramid itself has has protected it somewhat, but even so, it's got it's got weather it's weather marked. Um, it, yeah, you could do with a good coat of paint, or uh, at least take it through the um through the car lovers. Um, not that it'd fit through car lovers, but. <laughs> uh. Do you guys have a car lovers over? You have car lovers over in the states? I don't think so. Uh, and all, it's a car lovers is a it's a, a a car washing chain. Uh, yeah, you take your car, put the money in the machine, and they use their high pressure soaps and w w washers and tools like that. Yeah, just well, drive through yeah. car wash. Yeah, now car lovers is just a, it's yeah like Coca Cola. Like you, you, yeah, exactly. I was actually, by the way, I was, I was actually part of a, a, a crew that helped wash down a Hercules uh, aircraft one once. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I know, it was, I, God, we were all teenagers, there was about 30 of us, we had a ball. Oh yeah, yeah, teenagers are really have fun doing that. Um, so, not, not to needle, but are we talking like dozens of years, hundreds of years, thousands of years, is there any way I can tell? In this, not in this light, you, 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 you'd have to... You'd have to get, you'd, you'd have to get out there. Um, I mean, archaeology, an archaeology role. If anyone had archaeology, for example. Um, Another question uh, for you. Maybe, maybe. Hang on, before you go. Maybe a. Um, Can I bluff it? <laughs> maybe a, no, you cannot. Maybe a mechanical engineering role might give you a few clues, but but maybe. Maybe but, a few um, clues. Maybe a few years. Look, decades, if not longer. Thank you. I want to see if I can tell any, anything else about the alarm system that Evoke didn't already figure out. Well, that, what are you without using? Without touching it. Exactly. Okay. All right. Uh, that should um, have look, been detect alarms, which would have been yeah, 20 yeah, points higher. Yeah, which means you it's a, and it's an alien it's an alien craft, so um Yep. Yeah, no, you missed it. No, means I should have been a minus forty one. I think it was yeah, but it's a twenty point penalty. Right, so minus twenty one, so I still made it by twenty one. No, uh, then he's oh, okay. minus one, so he's still over, so he still made it. Yeah, okay. Alright. I thought he was. I thought he said uh, the detect. Oh, it's detect. Not detect. Don't, don't mind me. Going nuts in my old age. Um, look, um, it's probably had some sort of remote. It's probably got some sort of. Well, to put it in to put it in blunt terms, it's probably got some sort of remote um, car Rod. alarm thing that, hanging on a dongle somewhere. You know, on your keys. Yeah, that's what um, I figured. Maybe a little um, a little stick that some uh, some people are holding on to. Yes, possibly. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Um, there's there's a depression near. It's hard to tell, but now that you've come up with that idea, there is a depression near the hatch, which is about the diameter of one of those sticks. Okay. Now the other question I had for you was with the pyramid, and you said the top of the pyramid was near the top of the tank. Would yep. that would that allow you to access the top hatch from yes. the platform? Y yes, it would. You would have to climb into the access hole that the Heliops put their hand through, but yes. Okay. But when the Heliops do it, it's like the access hatch right below their, uh, the hole in the top of the pyramid. Eh, it's close enough. But is it? can we assume that that's where they touch the, the staff, the rod? You could assume what you like. Or the alarm system is what's giving him so much pleasure. Yeah, the electrical yeah, so, field. Remember, they're basically immune to electrical, so it wouldn't hurt them. It, it's reasonable that they'd get a good jolt, a happy jolt out of it. I think yeah. we should leave here, guys. 
I agree. Yeah. So yeah, okay. let's turn off our lights and head out. All right, we'll come back out of the game. User left your channel. Right. User left channel your channel. Switched. Now User joined your channel. Our User joined your channel. Okay, the, four, the you four guys coming out of the pyramid. I need I need dex checks off you, please. That's uh, sorry. Yeah, dex checks. I was right the first time. Okay, Everyone's so nobody down. hurt themselves. Yeah. Nobody, nobody hurt themselves this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I get any stamina back for that first aid? Oh, yeah, ten points. Sorry. Oh, and Paro, I don't know if you did first aid on me or not. Yeah, I did first aid on both of you. Yeah, sorry for that. So ten points to both of you, back. I oh, and uh, knock off a knock off two bio quartz off your uh, tech kit, off your med kit, Paro. Um, okay, okay. So, um, you guys, like the, the, the four guys, cr the four individuals crawl back out. Cat, um, you help them, and I'm um, assuming you, but you guys putting the um, boards back. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing now that you're back out in the open? Well, relatively speaking, out in the open. Head back to our whistling nonchalantly. <laughs> but not in a group because we did not leave as a group, and coming back as a group is suspicious. Yeah, spread out and go different ways. Yeah, okay. So you're going to fill your colleagues in on what you've been doing? Yes. Yeah. Well, so, go ahead. Uh, big hover tank. It has uh, electrical fields around it that when you touch the tank, uh, I can tell you from experience, it really hurt. Um, basically, the priests have a little remote control, you know, that staff that we saw earlier, and that's what will probably deactivate the field and control the tank essentially so the priests have a keychain to a indestructible tank <laughs> and they don't even know what the hell they're messing with yeah an indestructible ship by the name titanic just remember that gentlemen <laughs> what's an anti what i said an indestructible ship by the name of the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well listen here, their spears aren't going to do nothing with these laser weapons. So the theory Maybe. is that the emergency kind of electrification system, the security system is what's causing the, the natives to experience the pleasure. Right, because they're immune to, el to electric weapons typically. So they're not getting yeah, injured yeah, by yeah, it like yeah, we are. Yeah. It seems like the the top of the pyramid where they go and do their ceremony is right over the top access hatch. There's a front access hatch and a top one. Actually, uh, I don't know if there's maybe, a top one, is there? Maybe. Hang on, wait, 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 I'm not sure there is an uh, I'm not sure there's there a top access hatch. Uh, I'm just checking through. Now, I uh, don't think there is. I think it's only the front one. Sorry, my fault. Oh, so it's just the, it like the view screen or whatever. Yeah, the overview, yeah. the overhead one is. What's number six? Number six is not an access hatch. But what about the red circle right there? That says access uh, hatch. Hang on, hang on. I'm, I haven't got the match up. I haven't got the map up. I, mean, I closed it down because I was doing other stuff. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, where is it? Uh, uh, that uh, access hatch. Ryan is the one that goes I into the tunnel. tunnel. Are you talking about? Yeah, that one. That's the, that's that's the back. From that's the one. front. That's that one there. That one yeah. is that one. It's the same one. That's the exterior view. Yeah, exactly. That's the interior view. Yeah, no, so it's uh, it's on that, the top of the tank. Yeah, you don't. Well, you don't know what that is. Cause that's inside. The floor. You don't know what that is. That's in the side. That's inside. But it's a top access hatch, right? You don't know what it is. It's inside. Well, well, <laughs> not. It's on the top of the tank, not the front of the tank. No, that's an interior view, right? So you uh, can't see uh, that. Never. Mind. Never mind. Right, that would be somewhere there, and I don't know where. Oh, maybe a bit further back. 
And it might be it might actually be the access into that turret. No, what I'm saying to you is all this here, all that is in ah all that is interior. You can't see any right, of right. that. Yeah, that's the interior plan. I know. Yeah. Yeah, but from the yeah, exterior one, which is a top down the access hatch is on the top of it. Yes, it is. Oh. Right, but that ex but that one you point to there is this one here. But we don't know that. Well, well we don't know well, the inside. You know you know it li you know it li it lines up properly. Yeah. So and I'm guessing we couldn't make out what that was. Nope. Too high up. Is that number six? Because okay, okay, again, again. Okay, that's what I thought. Right? You guys, if you look at this, if you look at this, this one here, the side view. All right. Um, yeah, no idea what that would be from the ground. Yeah, exactly, because that's several meters up. Remember, don't forget, as I said, this thing is what did I say, uh, six meters, seven meters. And I take it tall? no one knew what the alien description meant. No chance. <laughs> um, never Just seen it before. Up. What was it made out of? Was it made out of whatever the metal that Matt's found? Was it similar to that? It looks like it looks similar. I mean, it's certainly high tech. Um, it has the to be material done. seems to be different. The color, the Can't, well, it could be the same. It could be different. It's hard to tell. But it's certainly it's certainly the, high the, tech enough the there. You can heat treat and surface finish different metals, or the same metal and give them very different looks. Yeah. So is this something that's like totally wow alien? Never seen anything like it, or do we know? Have we heard of hover tanks before and seen them or whatever? Okay. Are they are they common or is this something like bizarre? Well, hang on a sec. By the way, that arrow, right, is nine. Me that arrow I just drew. That's nine meters. All right, nine yards. Twenty feet. Twenty feet. Okay, so as I said, yeah, you know, that's yeah, more like twenty-seven, thirty. Twenty-seven feet. There you go. Yeah, close to thirty feet. Um, so, you know, that's gives you an idea Whoa. of the scale of the thing. In that regard, so you're not seeing any of that stuff from the top, from the ground. You know, you can barely make out the, the that front that front part there. No, oh, that yeah, front part there. The uh, hover tanks do exist on the frontier. This one's just yes. of alien design. Oh yeah, no. The answer to your question, yes, hover tanks exist. Yeah. Um, there's if you check the website, if you check the the the, the law yeah. on things, there's all there's three or four different models actually. Um, but yes, hover tanks exist. Uh, but the, the, but this is this is an alien version thereof, which is why I'll quite happy to call turrets. it four turrets is significant. Yeah. Well, then by the way, which is why I was quite happy to give you a hover tank uh, map with a labelled hover tank on it because it's obvious it's a tank. It obviously, it's a hover tank once you get in there with proper lights. But it's an alien hover tank. So yeah, and it's bigger than normal. It's bigger than the ones. The, the, the it's bigger than the ones. Um, uh, uh, the frontier uses. Not by much, but it is bigger. More guns. More guns. Most ta yeah. most tanks a single turret. This one's got four turrets. Yeah, it's all right. So, beast. guys, I think what we need it's to more do of a, it's is... It's more of a gunship, really. Sorry. Yeah, I think we need to strategize on how we're going to get control of this away from the priests, under what pretenses. And then... Well, and then if we return it. Well, well we, we don't know how old it is. <laughs> Someone brave enough to touch it. Well, I think this is what we can sell. We could sell it to the military, and they could do their research on oh, it, God or to yes. the highest bidder. Oh well, okay. well it's in our ship. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, you would. You'd have to. Do, you'd have to do some rearranging of the of the deck. You might have to leave the explorer and that behind to fit it in. But I'll tell you now, Wartech Incorporated would pay through the nose. UPF, the UPF military would 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 want it. Uh, would want it. The United Planetary Federation military would want it. Uh, from research purposes, um, Pan Gal would want Pan Galactic would want it. 
Streel would want it. Um, Sounds like a bidding war to me. Yeah. So as far as the Heliops are concerned, all we really, all they really need is a really strong Gauss screen. I mean, they don't, they don't care about the tank, right? They just care about the, the nice tickling sensation they get from electrical fields. Uh, that's an that assumption. That was another question I was going to ask for you guys. Does anybody have a Gauss screen? <laughs> no. Oh, I see. Well, the difference a, a Gauss screen as a defensive screen actually stops electrical attacks uh, and that. So this is not a Gauss screen on the tank. So you right, couldn't right. use a Gauss screen and to to answer Jazz's question which you didn't ask, you couldn't use a Gauss screen to, a screen to simulate the tank's, the, the tank's security screen's effect. Oh, we just you need an electrical need an weapon. Or, or an electric so generator or something like that. A what? No, but Ground. why I was asking is because uh, I could disable the alarm system if I could protect myself from the shock. Oh, yeah, that. Certainly, possibly. Yes, maybe. So it's, is it charged? Is it working? Do you think we could fly it around? Well, it has, it's, the defensive, the defensive field is active, there. so I'm so. assuming it is working. Yeah, now, it seems so. the guns may not be operable and so forth, but it's, it at least has power. And there didn't seem hmm. to be anything wrong with it from the outset. And that's an interesting question too, because if you want to give me a power engineering role... Power I wonder, could you tell whether that? it was hovering in there? No, it's definitely on the ground. They know that. They ask okay. that question. Is that alternate energy? Uh, or nuclear? Oh, that'll that'll do in a that'll do in a in a, uh, in a actually I think yeah something like that. Um, yeah, close enough. Um, whatever energy source it's using, it's not. It's um, well, basically, it comes down to it's either solar. And there aren't any solar panels, and it's not getting enough sunlight to be solar. Um, or it's um, some sort of, um, well, let's let's call a spade a spade. It's some sort of nuclear, because nuclear nothing else five would last. Lower than that, by the way. Yeah, I know that's. Yeah, I checked that while I was right when you rolled it. Um, the the reason it's got to be nuclear is that any other power source would not last years and years and years. Because it's you, you've already determined it's it's at least decades old, yeah. right? A regular battery, regular SEU power system is not going to last for years and years and years and years. It drains. Batteries drain. Batteries drain. Even the ones in the frontier, the SE, the power clips, power backpacks, they drain. From uh, an adventuring point of view, you know, it takes decades to drain away but they do drain away. This hasn't drained, so therefore it's got to be something that doesn't drain, which means it's either renewable or it's nuclear. Which and is going to last that long. Which or also geothermal. means there is oh. no way I could make a replacement for it. Well, no, well, you but could. You for could the you electrical screen, we could make something. Well, the, it would have to... We, well, solar could work if we just... Possible I could make a replacement. Well, it's not necessarily a replacement. It would be an alternate. Well, yeah, something to deceive them that their their god is still there, but we get the tank. Well, how would we get the tank out? Well, hang on. Well, well, hang <laughs> on. It's not their god. It, this is a gift from the gods, is what they've called it. So we, uh, well... So the gods want their gift back now, so you take it. <laughs> so I <laughs> yeah, think okay. we have to... I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking that. I'll be right back. I mean, I, I think we have to... Uh, approach them somehow as uh, messengers of the gods, right? That they've the gods have called us here to X, Y, Z. Which direction okay, okay. is it facing inside the prison? Uh, uh, it's basically facing, the nose is basically facing towards the river. Well, that could be three uh, the directions lake. then. Towards the south? Yeah, towards the south, sorry. Uh, was the, there yeah, enough sorry, room I mean, inside the pyramid to turn it around once it's hovering? No. Probably not. Because <laughs> it looks like it would have to be oriented east-west, not north-south. Because yeah. it's longer, than it's wider. 
Uh, possibly. There might be. There might be some. There might be some space to go left and right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll ha we'll have to figure out how to get control of the tank away from the priests. Uh, we got to figure out Max, and we got to figure out the intruders. You can always just boost it. Well, with without the without a Gauss screen and without the control. Yeah, I didn't. Hang on, whoa, 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 yeah, well, hang on. I didn't say it was going to be easy. We could <laughs> persuade them into giving it to us to defeat the invaders that attack them by saying the gods want us to do it. Oh, look, you can go that route. Because the then that. they gave us the keychain to a massive hover tank. We get the hover tank, it's and if the bad guys show themselves, we kill them. Otherwise, we just take it and go. Uh, it's pretty obvious you guys are going to need that black and red rod that the high priest had. Um, at least that's the way the thinking is going at this stage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get some sleep, and in the morning, I don't know. <laughs> do you want to get sleep, or do you want to raid the river? Do you want to raid the lake complex? Uh, not a, not the same night. No. We need I to sleep at least. Besides, it would be easier to get the rod from the high priest the next time he comes to do a ceremony than it would to go out on the river to get it. So you think the rod is the key to the thing? Yeah. yeah. There's also by the uh, by the access hatch to get into it. There's a hole that is the diameter they, of the think? hole is very similar to the diameter of that rod. And considering they use that rod to uh, seemingly turn on and turn off the screen, possibly. So, best guess okay. is that rod is what we want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you sh I mean, I'm not so sure that getting the rod from the priest next time he's on shore is a good idea. The only time you've seen that happen is during a ceremony when the entire village was there. Yeah, so pickpocketing it is not a good idea because he's probably going to be holding it. No, well, not that that ceremony. We can sneak into his cabin at night and steal it. <laughs> yeah, to go across a kilometer by boat. And oh, you don't have to go by boat. Just We're not you swimming. Can you, 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 you can just walk along the docks. It's only a, it's only a, you know, a little over half a mile. I think by boat would be better than open a, a yeah. kilometer. I don't know. That water doesn't seem safe to me. Uh, well, we take some of the juice the with us. Yeah, all the fishermen boats have the juice drips. <laughs> the oh, juice. right. <laughs> <laughs> the juice drips. All right, so what do you guys want to do? Um, you've discovered an alien hover tank underneath a primitive pyramid. <laughs> your Your partner is missing. Uh, there's a third, a third or fourth faction, uh, which attacked the, the village earlier today. Um, are you guys going to sit there sucking your thumbs? What are you doing? <laughs> I, well, I think we finish out the night rotating guard duty on the heavy laser, probably two people at a time. And I think in the morning, we, I, I'm more worried about the intruders. They're going to come back, right? Yeah. But of we also need to think of a way. Hey. Well, yeah. Is less of a concern. Here's what Jazz thinks. I'm sorry, Jazz. What? Jazz is thinking if we have control of the tank, then you know the return of the intruders is a, is a less less threatening. Well, well the return eventually of the we're going to take the get tank. us access to the tank, right? With the high priest. Um, that's an assumption. It's a big assumption. But raiding the raiding the priest quarters is something we can do at any time. The intruders is is puts us on a timeline. We don't know what that timeline is. 
but if if the assumption we talked about earlier is that the robots are cyborgs and they were scouting they've detected whatever they found they're going to be bringing back support i don't know cerise that's yeah. a pretty crazy theory you thought of by yourself <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you could be seeing things. I mean, you, you love robots, you could just be jumping to conclusion. I could be. But whether they're not, if they're, even if they're just a bunch of rusks in armor, they discovered something of interest, they'll be back. Maybe they were somebody who had scanners that could pick up the power source of the hover tank. I don't know if that's... Well, possible. you you guys didn't. I mean, it's not like Max didn't look either. And it's the okay. first time they, they've ever attacked the village. And it's a few days after we've arrived. So. After Max disappeared. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe they're another alien race, and they saw us jump in system, and they came to investigate. There's a thousand possibilities. Well, there are th there are a thousand possibilities. So what can we do with this race? We can't track them. We don't know. We know where they came from, but how are we going to cover that much mm -hmm. land and actually find them? Without some really nice scanners, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. And the only other way of finding them would be to wait for them to attack the village again. Well, or if you look at the Rift Valley map, where could have they possibly landed? I don't know if they could have landed at the river mouth, if that's wide enough and good enough land, or if they would be across the river, right? But then how would have these oh. explorers gotten across the river? Are you talking about Are you talking about landing yeah. somewhere there? Yeah, I don't think that's big enough. Oh, you know, I don't either. I mean, I mean, I mean, okay, yeah, a really good pilot could probably drop something in there really well, but, yeah, I so don't So I know. think they had to come over here. But well, there's a river in the way. Hover I understand there's a, that's why I said, I don't know how they would have gotten but, across but, the but, river. But, but, uh, but, well, okay, a couple of things. One, um, there's, there's enough, there's enough area between the jungle and the river all the way along there to travel. Getting across the river is no worse than fording a river. It depends on how deep how deep the river is and whether they're I mean if they're amphibious, that solves the problem completely. Um, but more importantly, you that there's a there is an almost certain almost certain chance that you guys would have seen a ship landing. Anyway, even if it landed over map. here by the compass rose. Yeah, yeah. Because the ship's gonna you're gonna see a ship coming down from coming coming down from the from 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 uh, from space. Um, if it happens at night. Can't go away from space. Sorry, Besides, the the scanners, the sensors would have picked up another ship. Yeah, if and they were actively and, scanning. Uh, okay, again, a ship landing on a planet that far away. I mean, it's only, what, 20, 30 clicks from your landing site to the compass rows. Okay, fine, there's a, there's a mountain in between, but again, coming down from space, I okay, think so I think that would have been picked up. It's worth searching the small area at the kind of the... The mouth. Yeah, the Have mouth. Pass well, there. The, so I guess well, it could be worth searching there and just searching the open area. Two, the, two, so two, three if the ship kilometers. didn't land after we landed, that means the ship, that means the aliens, and I'm calling them aliens, the, the other race, the aliens uh, is was here before us. On subs. Or, and that I'm means subs. either they landed before us, or they live here. And it, the Heliops don't know about them. Yeah, that's the logical assumption you're drawing, yes. Whether you're right or not is another question. Yeah, well, then why would they come in the village and just kill some random heliopes? Well, so here's the other thing is the other, the other intelligent advanced race that we know of 
that places outposts on random <laughs> planets. <laughs> I know you're going with this. <laughs> so, did our landing here, either the first time or the second time, activate a Sathar robot, a uh, Sathar artifact, and that artifact is now looking for us with its robots? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> I'm in for a good fight. I'd really like that hover tank. <laughs> yeah. Well, how good are you at swindling people out of their most prized possession? That's Babu's job. Yeah, All right, Babu, you're up. I think yeah. the stealth approach is the way to go Can instead of asking them or swindling them. Vehicles? Sorry, what was that, Babu? I missed it. How common is hover vehicles Hobbit? in the, in the uh, universe? Frontier, here? very, very. Very common. Does the tank have enough uh, support to cross water? Does the tank have enough support? You got no idea until you get into the tank. Could a well, well could a, yeah, well, well, let, let me let me let me answer it this way. Could a, a hover bike, a hover car, or a hover truck, or a hover tank made by the Frontier races cross water? As long as it wasn't too choppy. I think the rules state no more than a two and a half to three meter swell. I think it's the limit. Three meter okay. swell is pretty big. <laughs> yeah. The reason you design something as a hover tank is so that you can cross soft land. Multiple terrain? Water. Yeah, multiple terrain types. Well, I'm a big David Drake fan, and uh, I'm his not that tanks mean. are hover vehicles. Tanks can't cross water because they don't have enough uh, dispersion of weight. The combat yeah, cars can. Yeah, no, okay. Well, here's the thing. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the physics of that idea. Okay. If, if, and, and the reason being is this. Ignoring whether it's water or even, a hovercraft pushes air down against a surface. Right. All right. Now, if, if that's... too heavy, you'll just push that surface out of the way if you... No, that's not how they work. Because if that's how they is work, compressible, but not that much. Water is not is, is it not that good. But I mean, if that was the case, water that's is real not physics. compressible at all, just for the no, record. No, no, no. Well, well that's not. why I'm trying to figure out the universe. So yeah, 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 no, no. I mean, okay, if drive if across water with this. Yeah, you could th well, you, you could theoretically drive across water with the frontier hover tanks drive across water. This one, not until you get out there and have a look at it right, and, get it right. and see what it can do. But the, ho the frontier ones can. But put it this way: what about the ho what in real in real world? What about ho the hovercrafts that tra that travel between England and Ireland across well, the? Uh, it really sea. depends on the technology. Does this tank use the technology of blowing air out the bottom? I doubt it. It must use some kind of gravitational technology. Actually, I mean, is no. It uses fan. Tank or is it just blow air? No, it's blow air. Well, it, 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 it well, has all the fans in the air tube. inlets. It's got air inlets, so exactly. Okay. In fact, you guys don't. Uh, you guys haven't. I mean, the frontier. You guys, the frontier hasn't hasn't produced repulsor lift yet. Anti grav yet. All your hover stuff works on air. Okay. So, what's the working philosophy for the intruders, and what do we want to do about them? Their working philosophy or yours? Ours. You haven't discussed it yet, have you? I think oh, it's safe to assume they're coming back, that's for certain. Yeah. The two people that got killed, any relationship to the uh, people that touched the tank? Uh, I don't think that crest that quick yeah. all the heliopes at one stage have touched the tank. Well, I'm saying since we've been here, they there were several people. Oh, who knows? We can't yeah, tell mean, them it's apart. It's, it's, it's a single. That's a single ceremony. I mean, you know, some of the villages were were accepted up up uh, offerings were accepted, and some of them weren't. And we can't tell the difference who's who. Uh, and if you ask the and if you ask the question, I'll give you a freebie, all right? And if you ask the question, it was one of each. One of them did, one of them didn't. So 
the, the I think the, our working assumption is that whether these robots or intruders were Sathar or not, they're coming back and they're going to come back in force. So the question is, is do we want to respond to that as quickly as possible? I think the answer is probably yes. And I think we want to respond in force, which means we need to take control of the tank as soon as possible. Even though I well, don't want to raid the river, I think that means we have to go raid the river tonight. Well, I mean, uh, get so the, the, the high priest, does he sleep out on the river? All the priests. Apparently. All the priests do, yeah. In fact, then again, we have to find. The, then again, we have to find him out there, right? Well, you already have the information, which you've probably forgotten. But you, the last time we played, the information was the priest is in the high priest is in the highest tower, which is Tower Twenty Four. Okay. You well, asked I that, mean, someone we asked that question last time. We also have to consider that when the other guy went out there, they were like, "Oh, well, since he went out here, he wants to serve the god forever," and. He disappeared, so, so we should take the same a thing vote. could happen to us. <laughs> we're going. That's why we're going to take votes. Eh. And guns. I have a feeling whatever happened to yeah. him didn't happen on the water. It probably happened once he got there. But I don't yeah, know. I, th well, I he walked, and so we're going to take votes. And there's a small dock. If you want to take I think he went on study with archaeology or anything like that, right? Sorry, say again. Nobody Perhaps? with archaeology or. Nope. No, it's one, it's one skill you guys don't, one skill apart from environmental that you don't, guys don't have anymore. We don't uh, have any way to determine how old even that pyramid is. Well, well I know Not the tank is decades old, so that means that the pyramid is also, well, the tank is decades old, the pyramid is... But does it matter if it's a thousand years old or ten years old? No. Well, for well, the nuclear reactor, somewhat. Just this. And for if it is nuclear. My tank breaks down, I can't move it, I lock it, I go away, and I get somebody to come back and fix it. Ah. So, you know, where did I go? Maybe I didn't get back, so now they don't know where the tank is, and then somebody comes along and puts a pyramid over it. Uh, you know, so maybe what, the intruders are looking... Oh, you know, yeah, what, what, is the, what is the owner of the tank doing right now? Where is he? Why? How? Yeah. Well, if you remember the legends you were given, and you obviously d uh, you may or may not, the Heliopes said, or say, that they were bought here by the gods, and the gods left them a gift, and the gods left, and they've been here ever since. Now, that's what they the came to the say. planet. F they came to the planet from an somewhere else, right? From the stars. Yeah. So the God essentially, the stars, what we can get from that is that someone came in with a spacecraft, landed here, brought the Heliops here, left them this hover tank along with other artifacts, and left. That's what they're telling us. Apparently. Yeah, so obviously, well, you know, there's some holes in that, but that's the gist. Well, it could have been, it could have been a, uh, uh, not an exploration, but a colonization, right? And the, the tank and the artifacts were part of that colonization. They've just lost the technology and knowledge, but I don't yeah, think the that's the case. Yeah, the only f I mean, it's a good idea, and it, it's almost it's almost uh, um, plausible, except for the fact that don't forget that while Lee Carr's pistol um, isn't designed for Lee Carr's hand, it's not designed for your hand either, for that matter. Yeah, right. it's a different right. species that it's so designed for. Yeah, it's different. It's so. Um, I, you know, leaving somebody colonizing a planet with and leaving equipment that people have difficulty using is not really a good idea for colonizing a planet, is it? No, it doesn't sound like there were colonizers to me. They would have, there would be more stuff here, even if we.
balanced it up. Yeah, maybe maybe there's maybe the Heliop star was going supernova or whatever, and so some good do-gooders, you know, transplanted them here. But it would be yeah, another again. race that we've never met. Yep. Well, again, it comes down to how long the Heliop has been here. And yeah, and what was the relationship between them and their gods? I mean, remember when, according to the priest you spoke to, the the gods looked like them. But if that's the case, then the gods wouldn't be able to use the equipment that Lekar's got either. So either either there's a fourth race or a fifth race, we have whatever whatever number we're up to, or the legends have become legend. You know, the facts become legends, legends, fairy facts become history, history becomes legends, legend becomes myth. And the gods actually don't look like the Heliopes, but it's so long ago the Heliopes don't, don't remember that. Oh, yeah, there's all sorts of possibilities, guys. And, yeah, I'm, and, I, so keep them out, and I can keep throwing them out there all day, trust me. Yeah, so let's, I don't let's, think let's that... The thing. We can talk about it all night, you know? Yeah, I, I don't think I theorizing think all these legends and how things came to be is going to get us anywhere. I think we got to... Oh, you never know. Well, I, I think the, the we've come up I with so many ideas, but they're all plausible. We don't know. Yeah, true. I, I think there are two things that are two pressing needs. One is to acquire the artifacts so we can make money. And the second is the intruders. The intruders. Oh, Max. Acquiring, <laughs> well. <laughs> Thank you, Cat. Okay, so three. Ooh. Rescue Max. I mean, we might need him to get the pilot to actually take off, so yeah. <laughs> okay, you want, you, want, you want to be really bloodthirsty about it? Him or his body? <laughs> or a really good story about how he died. <laughs> yeah, really good uh, story. You better have picks or it didn't happen. Um, Thank you! So, so I think either way that means we gotta raid the we gotta raid the place because if we want the hover tank to fight the invaders because they're gonna come back in force, we need the rod from them, and that means either we have to convince them or we gotta go raid the complex and take it from them, and if we do that we can also go talk to Mats and see what what's on with him. Exactly. So I think raiding the complex is our best bet right now. You don't think that uh, we can possibly just get an audience with the high priest and or kind talk of to them, yeah. You know, basically well, the saying last, that. Wait, 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 wait. The last time you got an audience with a high priest, uh, you got an audience with a high priest, higher otherwise, the priest came to you in Hut 11, remember? Yep. Yeah. And he thought we were close minded just... and dismissive, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. he was. But then, but then that time, they didn't have linting intruders that set fire to their village. We can't like, tell them we know about the tank. We can no, we say that the gods are not pleased, but hand that over and uh, we shall be able to find a way of uh, fighting yeah. off. So okay. essentially Basically. you're saying with this rod, we can defeat those invaders. You just need to trust us. That's essentially what we're saying, right? <laughs> with yeah, that rod, I'm, we can do the undoable, so yeah. give it over. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm hearing you, th you, you guys saying. Um, based on, the, based on the, the reactions from the priest last time you spoke to him, um, you're not sure that'll work too well. Oh, I'm pretty sure it won't. Yeah, it, it, it probably won't. Because they're like addicted to the thing like it's a drug. Well, that That's, and they that think could we're children. They think so you what, sorry? They think we're children, that we don't understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going to go murder, murder hobo? Yep. <laughs> well, well, without yeah, the so murder, bad. because, again, everything we do, as long as all the Heliopes are alive, as long as one of them can tell us a story, the UPF is going to come here eventually, because of the captain's report. And they're gonna find out everything from the Heliope. So, 
Unless you want a bad rep to your name. Well, better you not do that. anything. Better not yeah, go you kill would. people. No, you, I mean, self-defense is a whole other issue, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm saying that if we murder in cold blood... Oh, that's different. Yeah. That the UPF will eventually find out, and we... Killing a, prim, a member of a primitive race for no... In cold blood is... That's so, trouble. So Probably shouldn't do it, yeah. Before we discuss details and pros and cons, um, how about, are we all on board that we need to go out onto the water complex for two part two objectives the rod and max yep yeah i agree i think it's just the method yeah, yeah. so then we'll it's get the method it. and yep. the aggressiveness i think we are all in agreement that that's what we're that that's what's needed that's what we're doing okay so all then right. i see there's two ways to approach it one is walking out there and the other is by boat and we do have a large party, so we could split the party. You um, probably have to split the party. Yeah, I don't think they have enough boats. Well, there's oh, a bunch of nice. fishing boats. Um, there is the dock at the front of the complex. There's also the possibility of taking the boats all the way to the high priest. Uh, yeah, I, 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 thought you'd, you'd, I thought you'd say that. Let me remind you. It's like um, 20 meters up. It's like yeah, 10, that, 20 that, meters up. That, yeah, the, the, every time you go to a, a building, the, the docks get higher and higher and higher and higher. Um, the only, if you take a boat out, the only place to get back into the complex would be around 15, 16, where the, where the, the dock area is from there. Because everything else from climb, there goes right? higher. Cl yeah, well. Do we have good climbing yeah, kit? We're going to be climbing you, like you, you, long. You're going to be climbing basically pillars to get up that high. I don't have a climbing kit, and I don't think... Well, I think Jazz is the only one with climbing skill. I'm and not saying it can't be done. Yeah. I'm saying these are, this, I'm letting you know what is in Dale. I don't think that climbing the pillars to the high priest's house is a good idea. Okay, I'm just rolling out ideas. Yeah, no, and they're good ideas why um, do I have the picture of... just putting it out go there on, do on. we still uh, do we want to consider bringing in the um, the nomadic heliopes in any way I was thinking about that earlier I, I don't know how to utilize them except to utilize them for tracking the intruders that's the only thing well, yeah. I mean, well the, the village heliopes the there. village heliopes could do that yeah, and don't, I don't, and I don't think getting them to attack the village while we go raid the complex is a good idea. Let me ask this: If we were to kind of proceed out to the river and, and raid them, I mean, does that, does that turn the entire village against us? Like all the young males in the village, are they going to be out gunning for us now at that point? If they discover the priests, had, the priests have been. Worst case scenario, if the priest, if you go out there and slaughter every priest, self-defense or otherwise, the village will kill us or attempt. And the to. village finds, and the village finds out about it, they're not going to be happy with you. Okay? Right. If if you do the, if you go on, if you go out there, and uh, worst case scenario, kill all, kill all the priests, and the village doesn't find out about it, because it's a kilometer, you know over half a mile offshore then you may have a window of time before the village discovers what's going on after which point they'll get really pissed at us and kill us on sight unless, we yeah, but the intruders unless we're just found breaking in if you're found breaking in uh depends who finds you of course but basically uh obviously if you're out there you want to volunteer for the volunteer to serve the gods yeah like max um <laughs> If you guys are going to boost or steal or borrow or acquire or common or whatever, repossess. Thank you. The 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 uh, the gift from the gods. Don't you think they're going to be slightly annoyed at you anyway? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah we're burning slightly, that bridge. <laughs> but I got attacked. <laughs> yeah, you got attacked. But I mean, they may not. They may not be. Uh, they may not be 
and think about it, they may not know that, that the majority of the village may not know the tank actually exists. In fact, the priests may not know either by this stage. Could we make if it's a long replica rod? Hey? Or something that could looks like it that could fool uh, the priest at a glance? Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, who could? Okay, yeah, it, could it be? Of course, it could, it could always be. It's always a possibility. Um, but am I that mean to you guys? <laughs> I, refuse, I refuse to answer that on the grounds that I may incriminate myself. Uh, I plead the fifth. Um, no, seriously. Um, look, it's a possibility. Um, everything's possible. I mean, it's possible there's a, there's a nuclear-powered battle tank sitting under a primitive pyramid on a planet yeah. that's never been discovered before while you're being attacked by a bunch of... Yeah, we should probably get back to how we're getting in there. Yeah. So, um, I've got a couple okay. of like before we go in, yeah. Boak and Sharif, if we had something that would simulate the uh, diameter, could you guys figure out what it needs to do to crack the code? No. Uh, yeah, we if stick it in the hole and we see what happens. No, it's gonna it's gonna obviously have to transmit some sort of electromagnetic signal. And we have no idea what that type of signal is. Now, if I had a Gauss screen, then I could protect myself and I could investigate the screen and use my technician kit to try to deactivate it. With the rod, oh. though, we can figure oh. out what to do and how to operate it with the rod. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could suck up, suck up the damage and stop being a wuss and just take the electrical damage while you try and get the thing deactivated. I don't how know many how much damage yeah. it is. That's probably a lot of damage. <laughs> hey, um, I, I, here I did come across some oh, Gauss screens previously. I don't know, did someone pick them up and just forgot about it in inventory, maybe? I know Jazz does not have You've one. never had a Gauss screen. Really? We had, it, we had a Sonic screen. You had a Sonic you screen? Had a, yeah. <coughs> you've had Albedo okay. screens, one or more Albedo screens, but you've never had a Gauss. You've never found, a come across, or purchased, to my, my knowledge, a gas screen. Yeah, when Vogue okay. touched it, you know, just just once, he lost. He he. He he was feeling like you know, uh, thirty percent not not happy. <laughs> and and he's and he's a pretty happy. tough guy. So I figured two to three more times would kill him. Pretty sure we don't have any, but wouldn't something like rubber gloves work? <laughs> Did you bring rubber? I am. Do, one, do you have do you have any rubber gloves and surgical oh, gloves? Oh, oh, we can take the tires off of the cap. Explorer. Bam, done. Oh, crap. I might have welding gloves in my tech kit. Yeah, but they're not rubber. The the wheels aren't rubber. No, the welding gloves. Oh. I, I, no, I listen, guys, seriously. I mean, it, it's fun. It's I, I, I enjoy the discussions. I really do. Uh, I really think your best bet is to try and get that rod, though. Yeah. So All the right. only other thing I will throw into the mix, and I'm not suggesting this, is we wait for the intruders to reappear, and that will cause a distraction to give us time to go out on the pier. But I don't like that idea. Um, so I think we need to split up. Some people go over the bridge. I think Cerise needs to go over the bridge because she doesn't swim well. Um, and she doesn't climb well. And then some people should go by boat. I think we need to split up. Yeah. Um, I think boats is a better approach, to be honest with you. My, my engineer kit has an insulated suit for, like, nuclear reactors. Would that work against yeah. the... No. No. That's just, like, lead. It's a, um, it's, it's a it's a radiation suit basically. Okay. For the for the bridge, the bridge option. What what was the reason why we wouldn't all just walk across the bridge? I don't know. I, I don't have an idea. That way. I mean, that's one way in and out. If we take boats, we have another way in and out. Right. So wouldn't it make sense to at least take some boat? Oh, look, I'm not saying scared. don't take boats. I'm just saying, to my knowledge, there's no reason why you can't all go across the. You can't all go across the, 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 the bridge. Okay. We we can't. Yeah, we, and could, I we, think could, we could bring. And what we could do is if we, well, no, we probably don't want to blow the bridge as a lot, ever, because then that wake the whole village. 
could be fine. You really want to use you really want to use that explosive, don't you? Listen, it would be a lot of fun. It would be a blast, even. Yeah, great. So the other thing besides splitting and going in both going both ways, Dan, which I think Dan, is good. Dan, Dan. Yes. You're very faint, mate. Oh, is that better? Yeah. That's better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the So I think we should split and go boat and bridge. That way we have opportun alternatives. Plus, I think if we all go one way, well, if we all go across the bridge, I think that's going to be um, very noticeable. Uh, there's, I don't think there's any chance to sneak. Uh, and then I think oh, the I other know. thing is we need to at least have the, oh, we've come to serve the gods. And then, then go into the doze grenades, tanglers, etc. And perhaps we might reconsider the opinion of these other than anyone will be explored. Yeah, that's another quite. Yeah, that's another good possibility. Um, I do have some nightfall grenades. They drop darkness. And if you have IR, you can see through them. I think. Yeah. IR can see through them. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I'll just point out, uh, Jazz will point out, is that um, from the reports that we have, Heliops are susceptible to sonic damage. Um, Jazz is carrying a sonic stunner. I don't know if the nature of a sonic stunner means they're more susceptible to getting stunned. Um, but if anyone else has that, you might want to carry it. Uh, Jazz also has available, he won't be carrying it, but if anyone else wants to carry it, a Sonic Disruptor, but those are going to be pretty <laughs> That's going to one-shot them. We may not want to use that if we don't want to actually kill them. But if anyone else has a Sonic Stunner, it might be a good thing to bring along. I've got if automatic rifle. Some, if anybody wants some non-lethal grenades, let me know. I have plenty. Well, I have a bunch. I don't have plenty. Yeah, if you, you, you don't. You don't need to put the. You don't need to put the word non-lethal in there because it applies to all grenades. You have plenty of grenades. Full stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm not willing to share all my grenades. Oh, well, that's just being greedy. Only the worthless ones. <laughs> in this case, they're not worthless. I got smoke, nightfall, doze, and tangler grenades. I can't I'll, carry I'll, them all. How many I'll smoke grenades? You. I got five of each of those. I uh, can't get two. Yep. The doze grenades, how effective are they? Did it knock people out? And for how long and in what kind of radius? Um, basically a stamina check, so they have to roll under their stamina not to be knocked out. Um, and, and it's under their current stamina. So if you're actually a little bit injured, then you're more susceptible to getting knocked out. And it's and it's only for those right there. What And I think the blast radius is a couple of meters. So, I mean, we could... Go into their, go into their priest quarters, toss in a couple of doze grenades, and knock them out. Go in and take their stuff and leave. Yep. And they may the they never even know we're there. Right. And everybody should have at least one doze grenade in their kits. Any of the yeah. new people. Yeah, I got tons. Oh, you got three. I... The ride Cats. took two smoke. Uh, does Cat Hen have any reason what to suspect? What the hell is he doing? That... Yeah, I don't know. He Sorry, left, I'm. So... Yeah, no, he left, he's, so... he's in the he's in the Deadlands game room. I'm just wondering what's going on. Huh. Must be I think he's just going through every out. channel. Yeah. yeah. Go for your life. Um, what were you saying? Uh, does Cat... Cat have any reason to believe that her s sleep barbs won't go through uh, the Heliop's flesh like a skin suit does? Uh, there's no reason at all to believe that they wouldn't be effective. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder if we can get yeah. a friend, friendly heliope to uh, for testing purposes. <laughs> uh, because if 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 they if they penetrate their skin properly, then uh, cat's needle or rifle, a needle or pistol, do exactly the same effect, but in a non explody making noise kind of way. Very silent. Well, when the, grenade, when, the, channel. when the sleep grenades go off, 
um, when the sleep grenades go off, um, it's more of a pfft than a boom. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, high X grenades tend to go off with a large bang. Yes. Flash yeah. bangs go off with a large bang. That's the point. Um, yeah. You know. So, but look, I think I think taking your needle, your needle of stuff, it's certainly worthwhile taking along, if you want to go lo- if you want to go non-lethal. Uh, she yeah. also has a sonic stunner, so if somebody wants to take the sonic stunner, that it, that will be a good uh, weapon for, especially if you have beam weapons, because uh, you've got proficiency in it. If no, nobody else. I'll take it. Um, I don't have any non-lethal other than my grenades. Cool. So yeah, go for breaker, it. So he's not mm. using any weapons. I got intimidation yeah. as my non-lethal weapon. Intimidation. Non-lethal. I'll point my really big gun at you and tell you to stop in your track. That doesn't work. Um... <laughs> yeah, the trigger yeah. and I stopped you in your tracks. <laughs> Guys, does, did, did that work against the quick deaths? <laughs> I didn't have a force axe then. <laughs> no. But pointing, you know, saying stop in your tracks, did that work against the quick deaths? <laughs> well, our no. puzzle boxes weren't attuned to quick death language at the time. Nice, nice, nice recovery. Load of shite, but nice recovery. <laughs> yeah, so we're going by yeah, boats. So who, wants and to boats? who wants to head out on foot across the bridge? I'm yeah, gonna use the bridge. the bridge. I don't trust boats, especially with creatures in the water. Voke yeah, will take a boat. As well. But is <laughs> so he's staying with no, the no one actually wants to be on the boats so. <laughs> though. I'll be on a boat. I'll take a, and I can tug. I can tug another boat. Okay, uh, sorry, does, is anyone staying with it? First of all, is anyone staying with the Explorer? Mm. Who is the worst at combat and sneak? Uh, the Doctor, but we need him because he's the Doctor. Yeah, that is true. And Did someone it, here mention my name? <laughs> someone needs a Doctor? And anybody who is terrible at combat probably doesn't want to mind the Explorer and get swarmed either. Like, the Explorer's not that tough. Uh, right, you we'll would just, probably we'll just, uh, need to, to shoot the cannon. Oh, I could I'm just take a part of the now. engine, and that'd be good. No. No. You don't want uh, me, don't to, you don't want me dismantling it? No. <laughs> okay, qu- okay, serious question. Is, is somebody staying with the Explorer or not? I, I, I don't think I so. I don't think so. It doesn't sound right. like a, Fine. a useful. Okay. Yeah. Well, who's yeah. Coming, how? Who's is the explorer? Person, who's going in the boat? Well, boats are. If there's an, if if you need to take more than one. Voke is going. Voke's going in the boat. Who else is going in the boat? Uh, cat can go with Voke. Okay. Do these boats? Would they fit two of us? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. No problem. At all. So then we'll take just cat. We'll take a boat. I'll take a boat. Make sure the liquids. Make sure the liquids full, and that you turn it on. Okay. Turn it off when you dock the boats. (laughs) How many people can a boat fit? Okay. Each each of these canoes is dug out. It's between three and four meters long. It's hewn from. They appear to be hewn from the trunks of single trees and carved and polished. Uh, none are over a metre wide. They're all under a metre wide, three feet wide. Uh, the aft portions are flatter and wider than the bow. And from the bow juts small platforms equipped with several leather straps. There are openings in the bottom of the platforms, reachable by somebody sitting in the bow. In the bow of each boat, during the daytime when the fishermen are using them, are barrels. 
which drip a purplish liquid into the water. None of the boats have got barrels on them at the moment. All, each barrel, each barrel, each boat carries six paddles, some of which are intricately carved, sorry, all of them intricately carved, and some are wrapped in oiled leather. The boats are crude, clumsy, and incredibly difficult to handle. Will require dexterity checks. I'll also say again, none of them have barrels on them at the moment. Fine, yep. we're going over the bridge. Yep, we're taking the bridge. <laughs> that's what you call a big hint by the game master. No, that's just me saying. It's just me saying that the assumptions you guys are making that the barrels were going to be there is not true. Well, and I mean, really I'm not up for stealing barrels it. just so all we can we break into. All we need to do is trade a couple more survival knives and can we get some barrels? I think we're almost out of knives. <laughs> like, I have a vibro knife, but they don't want a vibro knife because it's powered. Oh, they might. Yeah. They don't know how long the power's lasting for. Well, the, the path of least resistance seems to be like, uh, let's just walk across. So, extending from the shore is a wooden bridge that native boats are moored to for the first few pilings. Basically, until it narrows down, if you look at the map. Six metres wide for the first ten metres or so, and rises about 30 millimetres, that's a foot, above the water. After the first ten metres, ten yards, the bridge narrows to about two metres, two yards, although its height remains the same. The narrow portion extends into the widest part of the river slash lake for about a kilometre and enters a building on a platform in the river's centre. There is no railing. Being only two yards, six feet, two metres wide, you're probably going to walk single file. Maybe not. Uh, but can I get a marching order off you, please? For want of a better term, would somebody mind would someone mind writing up a quick note about the order of the march, or use the character, or use the um, the party sheet? Yeah, I was looking for the party sheet. Wants. Put Voke okay, wherever. The front. <laughs> Here. Uh, I think some of the the probably Babu can talk, so he needs to go up front, right? Yeah. And I'm happy to go up front. And um, it makes sense for Jazz to be up towards the front as well. Yeah. Uh, Cat can take up the rear guard, uh, just keeping keeping an eye behind us. All right, I guess Bim Bam will go in the middle then. So if we look at the party sheet, uh, who do we say? Jazz up front? Uh, either Jazz or Babu. Probably um, Babu. If we want to lead with a talking person, then Babu. If we want to lead with a shooty person, then Jazz. Yeah, but do you want to start off shooting or just smacking somebody with a heavy stick? How does Jazz get on the formation there? And just drag your character. Yeah, huh? drag your. Yeah, I'll do it. I tried. Um, yeah, I tried. Oh, I couldn't do it either. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you did. Let me, let me drag him in. I think we said Babu, Jazz, Ceres, Cat, you were going to be in the back. Yeah. Um, Doc in the middle, please. <laughs> Coward. Volk, I think you wanted to be. I said anyone. Uh, is that good, or do you want to? Bim bam, do you want to be up closer? Where is where's the order? Uh, party sheet. Party the sheet. Bottom. Order oh, tab. Yeah. Party sheet. You got it. It's um the small gray button, second row, extreme right. Oh, I'm in the middle. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, you're dead middle. <laughs> Okay, so everyone's happy with that order? Yep, all good. Good, okay. So. I 
things just go silent for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yes. Sorry, yep. that was me. Um, okay. So. <laughs> uh, that was me going silent. No, no, I, yeah, okay. Um, you march your way out onto uh, the dock in the middle of the night. Well, late night, whatever. Um, every now and then, there's a splash to the left or the right. Uh, no closer than, n ev n never closer than 30 feet, than 10 metres, uh, often a bit further away. Um, but you get the distinct impression that you probably don't want to go that far out into the, the river slash lake. Um, mm -hmm. In other words, the killer whales will kill you if you fall. <laughs> no, no, but but in, in each of your subconscious, the following starts playing. All right, Cerise, you know how they uh, they go fishing, not with fishing rods, but with explosives. Oh, you yeah. go ahead and do that. Not yet. Okay. After about a, after a kilometer, after about a thousand yards, or a little over a thousand yards. Um, you fast approach a building. The building's about 10 metres by 10 metres, roughly. Uh, out the front of the building, on your left-hand side, uh, is a platform, which extends, it's about 3 metres wide, about 12 metres long, it's a boat dock. Uh, it's resting on pilings, as I said, about a foot above the water. Uh, and beginning... Uh, there's a small crane arm um, centred on this dock. Um, the arm appears to be able to reach any boat moored to the dock. Uh, and near the arm, there's a coil of rope. How long the coil is, very hard to tell. Uh, in the wall of the building is a 2 metre by 2 metre door, which is closed. Uh, there's also a stout ladder leading up from the dock to the door. Uh, there's a small wooden box at the edge of the dock nearest the platform. The platform where the, where the building is is about three metres above the water. Right? The bridge that you guys have been following has been slowly climbing over the last kilometre or so so that it is now three metres above the waterline. So you are above the dock that I just described a second ago. Okay? So the hut sitting on this platform, as I said, it's about 10 metres by 10 metres. It's a little smaller than the platform and so there's a one foot 30 centimetre ledge all the way around the hut. Um, the hut appears to have been repaired many times. Uh, the entrance door is a double door. And there are other doors uh, leading to open wooden walkways that lead both to the east and to the west, where you can see um, round uh, towers which you know during the ceremony had fires on the top of them. Fire towers. <coughs> so, what do you want to do? So a door is blocking our way. The door is blocking your way. Unless you try the little ledge around the edge, but... Uh, unless you want to try the ledge around the, the door. Alright, Babu, Listen it's your turn to become like SWAT. <laughs> <laughs> Although, try try and see if you could just, you know, normally open it first. Okay, so listening at the door, you can't hear anything. Other than what you normally would hear. Yeah, so nothing unusual. Jazz breathing down your neck. <laughs> Jazz breathing down your neck. So just open the door. Okay. Um. You 
try to open the door and realise that it's been latched or barred or somehow blocked from the inside. Well, you assume it's from the inside because you can't see right. a latch or a bar or anything on the outside. <laughs> Nothing that looks like a lock, so it's probably going to be, like you said, either a latch or a bar. Yeah, in fact, in fact, you've never seen a lock in the village at all. Right. It's probably barred. Knife the door to lift the latch. You're going to stick a knife in the door. No, I know you're yeah. It's in the gap. Yes, 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 yes. yes. If we had a knife. Okay. Yeah, if you had a knife. Uh, a blade. Jazz, that'd be really Jazz has a blade. knife. A knife. Yeah, yeah I, I have a four sats. That'll work. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> not That's not a knife. It's not a... It's well, it, it solves the problem anyway. It but, just uh, kind of well, cuts it in half. That's bust it dashing the door down. Do you, do you have a bl you have something you can, like a machete or something you can stick through, or a knife you can stick through and try and lift the latch? Is what Cerise is suggesting. Can a pry bar fit through the edge there? No, pry bar's a bit thick, mate. Does anyone have a regular knife? Yeah, I Jazz do. has one. Jazz can just Okay, so one. then, yeah, Cerise does that. Jazz right. does. Or Jazz, or, oh, yeah, Jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a scalp, okay, but um, I don't think you want me sticking that in the door. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's going in there. Okay, um, using the knife to try and lift the latch, you realise it's not a latch. It's actually a it's actually a barred door, in in that the bar is a good two or three inches, five to five to ten centimetres, um, thick across the uh, the, the doorway. Uh, lifting it with a knife is not going to work. You're probably going to have to bash the door open if you want to open the door. Four sats is... Well, it's bashing open the door. <laughs> <laughs> you could use my vibro knife if you wanted to and see if that works. Yeah, I wouldn't use slice, someone slice else's vibro the, knife. Slice through the wooden bar. I assume it's a wooden bar that's across the door. Well, you haven't seen any, any metal in the village apart from the fused piece of metal that Max found. And, of course, your new best friend and best toy, which you haven't been able to play with yet. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, whoever's at the front will use my vibro knife and try to cut through cut through the bar. So, how much damage does a vibro knife do again? Anyone got uh, the stats in front of them? It is 2d10. 2d10, thank you. Is that modified by strength? Okay. Uh, no, you, you're not get, you're not going to be able to swing it very well. This is more of a just sticking in and slicing it. Um, so the extra st extra damage from an a strength attack does, is not going to help. Right. Okay. Um, it makes a horrible as as do all vibro knives. It makes a horrible whine when you turn it on. Uh, loud whine when you turn it on. Um, but after uh, uh, after um, four. For SEU worth of energy usage. So knock that off your sheet, please. Yep. Um, you managed to slice your way through um, whatever was holding the door closed, and you hear it go, you hear um, it's either something going thump on either side of the, on either side of the, the, the door. Um, and so you've probably sliced your way through the bar. took the power off. Okay. Right, give me a second. Okay, so you're opening the doors, is that right? Yep. Okay, now don't forget it's dark, it's night time, so I'm assuming you haven't got torches ready, or have you got torches ready? No, so I've got... How does the infralight work? Is that... Isn't that like a heat? It's a, it's a torch, basically, but it it, it produces uh, IR IR light, not visible light. Right, and then you can pick it up with IR goggles. And you pick it up with IR goggles. It's like a flashlight, but only you can see it. Yeah. yeah okay. Very handy for covert ops. Very handy for covert ops. Well, I have an infra light, so we can use that. Okay. All right. Well, um. The 
opening the doors, as I said the hut's uh, it's a single room, uh, 10 metres by 10 metres. Um, it's stacked to the gunnels where the roof with um, old pieces of metal equipment. Um, you and, and tools, massive tools and heavy structural members. Uh, a lot of it's corroded uh, and obviously broken um, and without further investigation that's all the information I'm going to give you. Um, more importantly there is a heliope uh, Uh, in the room. Uh, oh, by the way, the 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 the, uh, the overriding odor is of fish oil. Um, fish oil stinks on everything. Um, Ooh, lots of omega fives. Yeah. Um, it's an omega D. Omega six, omega three depends. It's got a quite a few things. Um. From a combat point of view, not that you're going to get into combat. From a combat point of view, um, everyone will have everyone's got hard cover in the room because of all the junk, all the me me metallic objects and and things like that. There is a cot. Uh, you can make out a cot uh, in the far right-hand corner of the room uh, from where you're standing, um, and the heliope is moving towards you um, in an obviously aggressive manner. So I'll get an issue off everybody, please. Um, initiative. Close, that. Close that. Minimize that. Minimize that. Put that over there. And combat tracker. There it is. And ba -ba Babu is true to form. <laughs> and bring it everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Why do I have eight? Because I've still got Daniel in the list. That's why. Well. Helio. Oh, there we go. Right, so what have we got? Um, Fifteen. Oh, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, uh, the Heliope actually gets first go. Believe it oh, me. man. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, he doesn't get first go. Kat, you've got it. Excellent. Uh, then the Heliope goes. Yep. Cat uh, will... I, I, I kind of assume that we're not talking here. Uh, we're trying to take this guy down. Uh, she will uh, slide the uh, needle pistol from her quick release uh, wrist sliding thingy <laughs> uh, and, and take a shot uh, okay. at this guy approaching. Hardcover? All right. Or is he hard out cover? in the open now? No, no, hardcover. Definitely hardcover. Yep. And you're shooting past your comrades. Cat is actually okay. in the back. Uh oh. Oh Jesus. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god, who did you who did you just put to sleep? <laughs> this is normally how combat goes. This is this true is, to form. Yeah, this is absolutely normal. The quintessential dungeon dream. dream. Did you just put our biologist to sleep? Oh no. <laughs> what were you using for that cat? Were you using your sleep barbs, were you? Yeah, so 1d10, I'll roll it. No, it's right, I just rolled it. Okay. Uh, Babu? <laughs> oh, oh no. yeah. <laughs> you take seven points of damage, and right, I need you to make... My skin suit. Uh, less yeah. half from your skin suit, yes. Actually, it doesn't <laughs> pierce your skin suit. So you're safe. 
Yeah, in that case, it all seven points. It it, no, it doesn't go, like, the, the barb doesn't go through skin suits. It no, won't it put you to sleep. Yes! It won't put you to sleep. But it, but the skin suit still takes half that, de uh, half takes four points of damage with the skin suit. Yeah. Yeah. And don't forget to knock off a shot, please. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, Jazz, Small you're victories. up next. You're up next, Jazz. Am I up or the Helio up? It's simultaneous. So what do you want to do? Um, Jazz will pull out a Sonic Stunner and shoot him. Right, well, because the Heliope is going to attack Babu. Okay. And it's pinches. That's what's happening, okay? So, you can have your shot, and at the same time, the, the Babu is going to try and snip Babu in half. All right. Um, I don't have the modifier in this one yet, and this is Sonic Disruptor, but it should be Sonic Stunner, so... Um, so, 22 out of hardcover is, what, 20? So, it would be 55. Yeah, it should be fine. So the Sonic Stunner, let me see how that works. It's just a stamina check. There's no damage. Ah, but yeah, the question, that's right. But the big question is, um, because it is Sonic and they're susceptible to Sonic, does that give them a penalty on their stamina check? That's a good question, and I'm just looking I bet it up you He's now. not going to tell us. Okay, so um, Babs. Yeah. Um, you, the Helio lunges at you with both pe pierces and its and its mouth to try and bite you at the same time. Misses with the mouth attack, gets you with both pierces. And the thing with Heliopes is they go straight through skin suits. So mm -hmm. you take full damage. The skin suit doesn't take any. Uh, you take six points and four points, so ten points total. And at the same time, um, uh, Jazz is pretty certain he struck with the, s with the stunner. Uh, and uh, the Helio uh, falls to the ground. Hey. Keep going, I'll tie him up. Now, does that mean Skin Suit took uh, 10 points of damage as well? No, just you. Skin Suit didn't take any. Okay, Skin Suit just got pressed into me. Yes. Basically, it's just the crushes you. Yeah, it's the nature of the pieces. They're like giant pies, really, I suppose. Um, so, nobody else attacks anybody else. Cat doesn't get a shot, second shot at anyone. Uh, I hit my up. <coughs> Nobody oh, else sorry. in the room, right? No one else in the room. Um, playing, so taking a moment to actually have a look around the room. Um, look, can I get, for those of you, okay, for those of you who have got technical skills, so I'm thinking the engineer and the technician definitely. The robotics to a certain extent. Not so sure about compute the, the computer people. Oh. But anyone else anyone else um, in that gr general grouping, can you give me a, a general intelligence role modified by like, your highest technical skill, please? I think highest. 10 points per... So hey? would, could I use my civil engineer? No, 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 no. The engineering skill itself. So what's your engineering skill? Three. Three, isn't it? Yeah, well, th so th uh, 30. Th th three times, th yeah, 30. Thank you. I'm getting tongue-tied. Make uh, that so minus. 30, okay, so minus 30, and then something for my... And then nice. your intelligence. Oh, and I forgot to put my intelligence in there, Matt. Yeah. But a seven That's right. should so tell you. The seven should tell me is enough anyway, yeah. Anyone else, wanna have anyone else in eligible for a role under those conditions I've just outlined? Uh, the chemistry side I of don't things. Think, uh, side I don't think. Oh. My, I don't think my. I don't know what biology I get. Okay, the biology knows both. both yeah. Well, what's intelligence? Know. Intuition, logic? logic. Logic, 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 logic. Sorry. Do logic. I do my all my logic? No, just yeah. What is your logic? What's your logic? Seventy. 
Yeah, you know, so you hundred. Yeah, so that was a, so that was a hundred off. So yep, you made that one. Okay. Um, you know, we're saying far. Um, yeah, chemistry. I'll play. I'll play the chemistry one, mate. I'll give you the chemistry roll. Uh, so this actually should be eighty-five then, because I got one point in. Mhm. Mm okay. Yep, they're all good. Anyone else think they deserve a roll? Nah. No. Okay. Oh, the doctor's um, totally look. shocked at the violence. <laughs> What violence? You, uh, so am I. Um, yeah. Uh, Babu got ba 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 Babu got his uh, limbs crushed, and then the Heliat fell to the ground. That's all the violence there was. The if you can repair me, Doc. <laughs> In other words, I think someone wants your first aid roll. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, ten points back, Babs. <laughs> And one thing in bio court, Doc, off your sheet. Um, the equipment looks to be heavy duty engineering equipment. Possibly the type of thing you would find in the engineering, um, on the engineering deck of a ship. Um, there are, you, you, it's all alien, right? But you manage, between a lot of you, you manage to recognize um, generators, uh, transformers, uh, large tools, um, and, and, and so on. Um, none of it, it's all corroded with age. Uh, it all smells of fish. Um, it's really corroded with age. Metal doesn't corrode like this unless it's incredibly old or has been um, in conditions that would create it, cro cro corrode things quickly, like an so acid just being right near a river? <laughs> no, not even, th no, not even being right near a river. I'm talking about like being in an acid environment, acid rain environment, something like that, a corrosive environment. Right, um, perhaps near the ocean. Well, actually in the ocean, possibly, like, like on the edge of the ocean. Uh, you know, like constantly being submerged in water and out of water with the high tide, something along those lines. Um, but yeah, a lot of it's junk. I mean, it, it, it's all now junk. Um, you doubt any of it would ever work ever again. Um, but yeah, it's all interesting. It's all interesting stuff, though. So, is it placed in here, or is this like some type of platform of of some ship? that has just been built over? No, it's not been built over. It's definitely been placed in here. This looks like um, it's, all, it's, it's an eclectic collection. Therefore, it's probably just all been collected over however long and bought here. Um, is the metal, can we, it's corroded, but does it look like the special metal? Like um, it at. looks high tech. Um, like it the looks fusion, like tech. fusion created. Um, yeah, it it looks it looks to the same type of stuff. Um, it's certainly it's certainly nothing the Helio apes could ever have produced themselves. Not with the current not with their current current uh, society anyway. So uh, let's bind and gag the Helio and put him on his cot, and also okay. see if we can rebar the door with the other part of it or yeah. another well, bar. The door, it was a piece of it was a piece of log a piece of wood you know shaped to fit um in a you know like a, a bar that you've neatly sliced in two uh barring the door is not going barring the door is probably not going to be possible without reworking um the log the 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 the, the, the piece of um wood again uh you can certainly close the door and put some junk behind it to to uh, keep it closed. Make it appear the, uh, as no one ever came. Super glue. Yeah, no, not uh, like that, mate. I, I we don't want to permanently close the door. We have to leave. Yeah. We'll just close I the door. Glue the two pieces of log back together. Yeah, well. no. <laughs> I could try and weld it. Yeah, That's called no. fire. Well, how how long was the log to begin with? Oh, it's good. It was a good. Uh, it, it's a double door, and it stretched right across both both sets of doors. 
but so it needs to stretch. It needs to stretch across both set of doors to peg the doors closed properly. Really, there aren't like latches we can use just half of it to put in the middle. Oh, you, it, it'd certainly keep the door closed, but it wouldn't wouldn't bar it closed the way it was. Yeah, don't worry about it. Do we want to split up and go each way, or all go the same way? Well, um, the Sonic Center seems to really work, so. I've got yeah, one. Yeah, look at the creases in my uh, skin suit. Yeah. Jazz has one. <laughs> well, I think we can split into two parties and go with one Sonic Center per party. I go with Cat, so I have that engineering and technician. Sorry, you guys split up, are you? Game master, never split the party. Unless we, uh, unless we don't want to split up. I don't That's think it's a good idea. It, it looks like a, a long ways to get to the main hut, right? If it's um, a kilometer just to get to where we are now, I mean, we're talking like just looking at the map, like over a kilometer just to get. So if one yeah, of the no, parties no, no, runs no. into the problem, there's a split in the dock coming out to here. Right. After that, everything's yeah. ten that, meters. It's still ten mm -hmm. meters per square. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's ten meters per square. There's a, there's a scale on that map. It's just um, bottom see, left hand corner. Let's, uh, yeah, let's not split up. Ten, uh, by the way, ten, uh, again, uh, for, for those of you who, are, uh, who aren't used to metric, me who aren't used to metric measurements, um, a meter is about a yard, close enough to make no difference for in most practical senses. Okay. I find uh, you're looking easy for the Americans is two meters is six foot six inches, which is the average height of an NBA player. Yeah. So yeah, a meter a yard is a good, a good, a good, close enough rule of thumb to be able to do the conversions. So um, yeah, ten meters a square. So it's thirty meters to the fire tower from the from where you are now. Thirty yards, uh, ninety feet. Also. So y you can split up if you want. Please don't. Um, you can split up if you want. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Let's just all go left. Yeah. Let's Doesn't really west, matter. Let's east all go left. Uh, you're going. You're going east. left. That's east. Okay. Uh, so the narrow wooden walkways they rise out of uh, at a gentle slope as they continue out over the river towards the platforms. Uh, it's one meter wide, and it rests on piling spaced about three meters. Again, there is no railing. Single file. By the time the, the walkway reaches the, the fire hut at 18, the walkway has risen from 3 metres above the waterline to 6 metres above the waterline. Uh, we're cracking. Grab the players off the. That's no, right. Sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't say. Uh, mm -hmm. You were saying. I was saying, before you is a round platform, six meters above the surface of the water. Uh, the platform is ten meters in diameter, and serves as the roof of a cylinder, two meters high. There are no visible openings in the cylinder. Below the cylinder are the pilings that support the fire tower. There is a light balustrade, one meter high, around the edge of the platform. Two small, intricately carved hinge doors in the balustrade are located where the walkways meet the platforms. A large barrel stands on the shore side of the walkway. A massive wooden pedestal, one meter tall, rises from the center of the platform and a huge clay bowl sits atop of it. Fire is burning in the bowl and smoke smells like greasy fish. Yummy. Fish oil. And I assume if you smell the barrel, it smells like fish. 
Are you going to smell the barrel? Um, since I have a very sensitive body, no. I'm good. Someone else sniff. No, I just keep going. All right. There's nothing here that we need, guys. Uh, actually, there is a trap door in the uh, in the uh, floor of the uh, tower. Oh, thanks for alerting us of all the traps. Man, that trap makes our life easier. I said trap door. I said. I think we need to check that out. If somebody yeah. wants to check it out, do it. Otherwise, let's keep going. Babu would like to check it out. All right. Well, okay. If that's the case, you opening up the uh, the gateway in the balustrade. I take it. Open it up and looking down. Right. Well, as you open up the gateway in the balustrade, the trap door opens automatically. Ew. Out of the trap door. Crawls It's not another priest. Um a snake like creature about two to three meters long and about fifty centimeters thick. Get out your four sacks and kill it. There's a tapering dorsal fin running from the back of the skull to the tail. Uh, can I get an issues, please? It's a pale green, by the way. Once again. Minimize that back down. Okay, so there's the uh, fourteen. Vogue, you've got that one. Yay. Um, can what I, I get close to the thing and attack it with the force act? You can attempt to do that. Yes. All right. That's uh, okay. And I guess my turn's up. Oh, that's a hit, mate. Uh, that that's a hit. Oh no, eh? it's not. Sorry, no, no, I read that I read that wrong. My fault, don't worry. That's the trouble when you play multiple games, you've got to keep flipping your men the, me the mechanics back and forth in your brain. That's a miss. Um who was next? Four um, Jazz and Cat. Who's got the Jazz, you're up. Can I go into a rage? No, I cannot. No. Um, let's see. It's uh, so peaceful. Jazz. <laughs> and then on, on that note, Jazz levels a laser rifle at it and shoots. <laughs> oh, no. No, he doesn't. Not going to hit it. Cat. I guess it's worth noting that we've now made enough noise to make everybody aware that we're here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, wh why did we make so much noise? Or who made? Because Jazz well, just shot a laser rifle. rifle. The laser rifle. Yeah, it's not that loud. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe not to the village, but to the other hut, perhaps. I mean, Possibly. what was it? Two, three kilometers away, we thought we heard laser blast. So, is it going to wake some of them? Maybe, well, no, but it's the guards are going to hear something. Those were laser blasts oh. that, like, 
Uh, powerful enough to set huts on fire, though, yeah. Mm. Having a laser rifle is, can do that. Is this just normal target size? Yeah. Or is it large? Okay. No, it's medium. It's medium. Cool. Uh, Alright, uh, she's going to take a shot with the needle or pistol that's in her hand. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, you hit. Mm-hmm. And you did some damage. And the snake does not stop moving. In fact, it rears itself up somewhat in a classic cobra strike position. Lovely. Love it. Aims at... Ooh, okay. For some reason, it finds the doctor a threat. <laughs> okay. Yay. Hey, always go for the healers first. Um, spits at you. Uh, the spit strikes you. Mrs. Bimbam. Gets Vok. Oh. Um, and the doc takes eight points of damage. And Vok takes six points of damage. Ouch. Um, and the... Uh, the skin where the spittle um, strikes you uh, starts to um, uh, itch and burn. Not flame burn, but get hot. Pee on it. Pee on it. There's a powder for that now. <laughs> There's a powder for that now. <laughs> oh, dear. Who was next? That was... Um, where are we? That was uh Cat, which was thirteen, Cat. so now we're down to, to ten. Bim bam bim bam, yep, bim bam. What are you doing, Bim? Um hmm. There's just this one guy. One snake, yes. And we are in a room or out on the docks? Mm, you're on the you're on well, um some of you are out in the docks still. Uh but you're on the basically the round platform, or on the edge of the round platform. So there's no railings or anything like that. There is a railing. There is a, this. This is the one place where there's a, a one meter, uh, a one a three foot high balustrade around the edge of the platform. Yep. Which is and there's a, a gate that's open in the balustrade at the moment, and a trap door which is open, which is where the snake came from. Which is what that okay. will. Absolutely. Mm. Well, I've been wanting to try this, so I'll try my little trick where I take my bullet and telekinetically throw, it, hurl it at him really fast to strike him. Okay. I don't Give know. It's kind of silly, but um, let me find the skill. <laughs> oh, sweet. Very nice. Roll me a d10, please, mate. For the damage, you do the snake eight points of damage with your telekinetically thrown bullet. Yay. After Bim Bam, there is... Cerise, I believe. Is that right? Or No, it's uh, a dog. The doc. doc, then Cerise. Yeah, the doc, okay. then Cerise. Well, we're burning, right? So, I, I, I don't want to burn, please. Ouch! It, it, it's not on fire. Oh, the heat, right? Ouch! Yeah, it's very oh. hot. Doc, do something no, about it. No, no, it's corrosive, actually. Like it's cinnamon like oil acid. or something like that, or acid. Like acid. 
All right, well, we'd love to <coughs> open our medical case and <coughs> apply something as if it were battery acid, I suppose. Well, you, what have you got in your medical case to do that with? Lord, if I know. Let's see. And before you do anything, I'm going to do a diagnostic roll. Oh yeah, sweet, 85, yeah. Yes, okay, yes, yes, it's definitely some sort of poisonous, corrosive, biological, uh, biological acid. Ben Ben wants to take a sample as soon as you're out of combat. <laughs> I've got acid mm -hmm. neutralizer. So what skill are you using to use that with? Mm, administer, no. Uh, I was thinking of Minister Drugs. How about we'll just do uh, first aid? Uh, no, first aid won't help, mate. Probably be administered Wouldn't it be administered drugs? Yeah, actually, no, it's neutral toxin? Next, neutralized toxin. Okay. Oh, it is that one, yeah. It is neutralized toxin. Excellent. You managed to neutralize the acid on yourself and no longer ta will no longer be taking ongoing burn damage. Okay, is that my turn, or can I continue and to? That's no, 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 no. Okay, well, it, it's it's three to, three to six seconds per turn. So no, that's it for you. Done. And knock off an knock off an antitox, please. Hey Doc, how many more do you have? Oh, ten each left. Oh, okay, or nine good more. question. Um, plus, there's other other people got med kits as well. Um, Cerise. So that is a sonic stunner roll. Oh no, and a miss. Yeah. Well, I missed the snake. You missed the snake. You critical failed too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you fire it backwards. No, but he has managed to hit Jazz. Yeah. So he fires it. <laughs> okay. Whew. So roll the damage, please. It's oh, what no, is it? Yeah, one no. dice. No, yeah, stunner yeah, no, is yeah, just a stamina yeah, check. Stun. Yeah, what's his current stamina check, please? Um. <laughs> jazz falls over. And <laughs> Jazz falls over. Now, does Jazz was Jazz was actually still on the balcony, I believe. Still on the. Um, does Jazz go over the edge? Let me. Uh, see. well, jazz, jazz is second in line. So. No, no. In that, in that case, no, you don't go into the drink. But you do become a tasty meal for a snake if if the snake isn't dispatched. This the um. Oh, oh, let me check if the the Gauss implant. I don't think that counteracts sonic. Uh, anti shock. Anti -shock no. Anti shock. That's right. Nope. Nope. It does not. So meanwhile, that was Cerise, um, and then after Cerise, there is finally Babu. That's why you need the sonic helmet. <laughs> Well, maybe. Finally. Yeah, that's going to hit. 37 points of damage. Snake is still alive, but moderately wounded. Awesome. Just in time for Kit to get her extra shots with the needle or pistol. And Are hopefully you entitled an extra shot? I'm entitled to entitled three. To yeah. Are you really? Okay. Rate of fire on, is then. three. It's Just like a little. Go on shooter. then. Go on then. Hang oh, on. Oh wait, wait, there. wait! I'm just looking at the description of the Sonic Stunner. It says a target with an anti-shock implant cannot be stunned. Does it? Yeah. Personal weapon. Okay. So Jazz is actually still awake. It tickles a little bit. Oh, mm -hmm. Cerise. Mm -hmm. Not here. Stop flirting. <laughs> Yeah. Stop your flirting. Tickles. Stop flirting with me. Stop flirting with me. Not not in front of everyone else. So good. You can't actually put us to you can't stun us. Good. You're still a danger to society with that thing, Cerise, but <laughs> <laughs> This this is why this you should see what they do with, with uh, when they're using grenades normally. Um <laughs> so this this, this so uh, a bunch of barbs hit the snake and it doesn't it doesn't fall asleep. Really? Well, yeah, let's really? see. If, let's let's see if the third one does. Mm. 
Nope, still awake. Jeez. All right. Nishes, please, boys. And girls. Round two. Woohoo, Babu's not last. We got the doc. Okay, and the snake. Yeah, Babu's not last. Almost. Doc, you're up. Right. Well, apologies. I should know who's injured, but who's injured? Uh, Bim Bam and Vok are both, you know, burning with acid. No, I thought he oh. said that. I, I, I thought I was missed. No, Bim Bam, Bim Bam was a, didn't get Bim Bam. Was just Vok. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I'm burning a lot. Okay, Vok. Well, being being eaten by acid anyway. Yeah. I think we can forego the diagnostic role uh, this time, so you can just do the straight uh, antitox if you've got it there. Oh. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Very lucky. Very lucky. Alright, who was after the doc? Um, Sorry, should be Reese. me. Mm -hmm. um, can I do, is there room to get up there in melee? Yes, there is. Okay, so then I'll switch to my force axe. Okay. And it's a miss. At least I didn't hit you, Babu. Yeah, I'll that's true. That. Okay, the snake... Uh, doesn't like you, Cerise. Spits at you. Hits you. For uh, six points of acid corrosive damage, uh, and also manages to get Babu in the splash. Ah, it does get to get Babu for thirteen points, Babs. Okay, does anything affect that? Like the skin suit? Nope, eats right through your skin suit. So your skin suit takes 13 points as well. Alright. Oh, our skin suits also take full damage. Oh, from the acid does? Yeah, sure. I didn't realize you were wearing one. Yeah, it's nasty stuff, this. Uh, bim bam Jazz first, then Bim Bam. Jazz will carefully and take a shot. Mm -hmm. Hang on one second now. Laser rifle. For 65 points. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Poor All right. snake. Poor snake doesn't move anymore. <laughs> Do you think the village heard that one? Oh, no, it's coming her away. They can probably well, smell the burnt snake. This, this is what Jazz normally shoots. Granted, it's hooked up to a power backpack and he only has 10 shots before he yeah. runs out of power. Um, <laughs> Cerise? Cerise? Uh, Cerise went AFK. Oh, in that case. Uh... Who was the other? Uh, it was Babu. you, I got, wasn't it, Babu? Uh, Babu, uh, you take another ten points of acid damage. Yep. Uh, does that also go against the skin suit, or just me? It does. No, no, just you, because the first, the first acid is just there. Right. Cerise, you, Cerise, you take another five points of acid poison damage. Okay. Which mm -hmm. also goes through your skin suit, which does damage to it. No, it doesn't. Doesn't damage the skin suit. The second, the second one doesn't damage the skin suit. It's already, oh. it's already right. done. Doc, Init Doc, yes. give me initiative. Doc, just you give me an initiative. Give me two initiative rolls, please. And the second one. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Backups coming. Who, who you, who you going to treat, Jazz or Cerise? You mean Babu? Or uh, Babu yeah, I or think Cerise. Babu looks like he's injured worse than Cerise, so Babu is first. Uh -huh. 
So if you give me a tox an a tox roll. Okay, Babu, you're cured. Cerise, you take another eight points before the doc can get to you. Uh, would would Jazz have a chance to get to Cerise before, or was Jazz uh, shot just now? This turn? No, yeah, you can get. I've got you. Yeah, you can get to her too. But I'll need a diagnostic roll off you first, mate. Mm -hmm. Now is that completely healed from the toxin? Yeah. No, that just stops the damage. Oh. Okay. Okay, you don't take that last eight points, Cerise. Okay. Okay, because I forgot Jazz was a medic as well. No, that just simply stops the damage. Doesn't it cure any of it. And then um, quick um, first it's aid. It's now a first first aid from it to 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 heal any damage. Yes, gentlemen. Ceres needs one, please. Both Both one gonna out. need a little bit of surgery. Type. Okay. Well, first aid's first. So uh, that's ten points to Cerise from the first aid from Jazz. Who are you first aiding, Doc? Oh, that's <laughs> close. <Babu? laughs> that was very Babu? close. That's ten points back from Babu from the first aid. Anyone anyone else need first aid? Um, I'm down sixteen points, so I could use them. Yeah, but have you have you been have you been damaged? I since did you had get first damaged. Aid? Yeah, okay, now you first aid yourself. Well, you can if you... Well, if, well someone can first aid first. Someone can I mean, I could aid. stab myself. Yeah. That's all I know about first no, aid. No, 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 no. Would somebody, would one of the doctors please first aid Brock before he gives me the... <laughs> <laughs> See, I am... <laughs> Best first aid you've ever had. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a full we 10 points back. please. That's a full 10 points back. Bad now, is anyone still thirteen? Anyone still injured? Yes, but Babu's not down. enough for injury. Not enough for surgery. Uh, Voke is still injured. By how, how much? much? Six. Well, it's hardly worth it. Yeah, I don't need surgery. The, thir the, th the thirteen points that might be up. That, I mean, it's up to the it's up to the medics to if whether the thirteen points is worthwhile. It's only a minor surgery if you do, but. And don't forget, if you first aided people, to take the bio court off your medic kits, please, gentlemen. Yep. So who's so down more than ten right now? Only Babu. Jazz. Only Babu. Yeah, we can do minor surgery. Um, Jazz can assist. I forget what we decided. Probably don't. Assist rule, so. Probably don't. Probably don't need it. What's your minor surgery roll, Doc? Probably like what seventy something, something like that. Minus one ten. One ten? Wow, you're a much better doctor than than yeah. Jazz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that <didn't> be that quick. <laughs> that whole difference between field medic and actual doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so that's thirty well, points back. Uh, so that that's up to twenty points back, baby. You're only down thirteen, weren't you? But but looking yeah. at the at the doc's role, you can still sort of see a bit of a streak of jazz in him. Just slightly. <laughs> yeah, we're pushing. Um, it. Yeah, he doc, is pushing. Hang on, hang on. Doc, could you uh, could you knock off two bio courts and an anesthetic off your list, please? Okay. Thank you for that. Um, no one needs any more surgery. Nope. I mean, I'm missing an no. eye, but I'm fine. Hey, You're always missing you know an what? Eye. You know the guy who, or girl, who graduates last in their med class, you know what you call him? What's that? Doctor. Your doctor, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's actually frightening. Thank you. You've just given me a... Yeah, thanks. I don't like that. Um, hey, listen, guys. That's actually... It's a um, good place to leave that for uh, this session, considering that we've been going for four hours. Um, everyone okay with that idea? Oh, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, sure. sure. You mean so I can finally right. get some sleep? <laughs> no, <laughs> of course not. Um, if you could, Ryan, could you play those credits and um, mute us all out, and then I'll sure talk to everybody thing. once they're done. Yeah, for all the medics. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch, and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz. 
and behalf of the entire gaming group we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.